My true Yarens, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro, is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island Chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son Diego will be drafted tomorrow. Hey Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on, you ditched us. Ran out to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Eh? Now you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. They got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck up. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Hi. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. The drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. <laughs> Coño! Fucking blackouts. Too big for a blackout. You fucking pack it? Oh yeah, do you know what's going on? In the mundo! Rapis must report for duty. You will join us to reveal paradise. Holy shit. What the fuck? Rapis must report for duty. You will join us Nico. to reveal paradise. All of us. Alejo, no! no! Alejo, get down! Fuck Castillo! Alejo! Raftis must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to rebuild Paradise. We have to go. Now! Get the roof top now! The boat. You're coming. You will join I promise me, Lita. See. Si. Come on, Danny. We have to get to the boat. Okay, Danny. When we get to Miami, we'll say goodbye to Alejo. I promise. Family. Wait, 
Soldiers, Lita. So we take the sword. Ready, Danny? Go! Get in the sword. Where the fuck are you taking me? not going to wait for us. Letting the military kill us? La noche de la muerte. The boat's over there. Run! with baseball cards. Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, oh yeah. Mierda. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket. Where's his family? Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. <sighs> Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the boxing gown. Let us on. Gracias. Don't worry about it, Chamaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survived. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a fishing boat. You be on, no, no! <laughs>
Before he was El Presidente, me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this, and we would catch the fish and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sit there, no! You have poison, Yara! You have poison, your soul! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have got you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. What the hell just happened? You fucked. Vamos, vamos! Lita! I can't feel my legs. Fuck, Lita. This is all my fault. My phone. Forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop it. Lita. Just wait. I'll find help. No! You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. Lo siento, Lita. So many dead. Con, I should look for supplies. Shit, pistol's empty. Need to find that camp.
Shit, who's shooting? Better stay quiet. You are going to be slowly eaten, bit by bit, by the birds and the crabs. You're just meat to them. Sargento! I see blown. <laughs> I'm not the only one looking for Clara. What's this? Could be useful. To Libertad, steal a boat, sail the fuck out of Yara. Oh, fuck! Too close, too dangerous. Bad time to be a guerrilla. Been a while since I used one of these. Clara doesn't want visitors. Gonna show your face before you shoot me? I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? Si. Lucky. Lita knew the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermana. Lita said you'd help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda. You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny. Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards. I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? Castillo's got, what, 300,000 troops? I count six burnt-out guerrillas, and you, with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. 
but we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all of this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. He'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita that? I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. Hello, my friend. Danny. I attacked this archipelago with a man named Juan Cortez. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. Pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed, he walked straight out of my camp. Castillo soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with neighbor Tad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. Get down to that village and bring me Cortez. I hope for your sake he's sober. How's the earpiece? Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. The spy shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble. Especially in areas with a lot of soldados. See, si. I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte. I don't know the name. What does he look like? Older. Where's a fedora? Please, I don't Dress it. Worry. <laughs> <laughs> papers. I don't have them on me, senora. No papers. Hello. <laughs> Thank you.
Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara. Or is it Colombia? Kirat, Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez? What do you think gave it away, Wapu? This is in a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, Wapu. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie, just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. You fucking rat. You were more dead anyway. And what the fuck? See, Guapo is in love with you. And I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. wants to be your friend or maybe he just needs to take a dump only one way to find out come on let's get the fuck out of here I can tell you handled a gun before what's your name Danny so Clara says you're a legend ex-KGB ex-CIA <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. Some men, they break eggs for breakfast. But Juan Cortez, he breaks fucking con- Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? See that smoke? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The Cerveza and Chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. You got Huapo. You can tear shit up with him. But if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. At least you're here to help, Papa. Weapon or not, military will shoot me on sight here. Lower your weapon! Over here! I 
guess this could be useful. More shit for one. Has his time. Once it was the Greeks, then the Romans, the Franks, the English. This is more like it. And now, it is our time. It is time for Yara to enter his golden age. But there is one word that threatens to destroy our dreams before they take flight. That word is Libertad. Clara Garcia and her Gary have erased us. Found all your shit, Juan. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. So what's with all this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. Like a spider or a serial killer. So, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper in our baby invasion of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? Orphanage in Esperanza. Then the military. I'm no guerrilla. Just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn, and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. There is no other option. America is my option. <laughs> of course. And you think Americans want your Yaran blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Guapo hates quitters. Coño. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Guapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Guapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, I... It's grounded, but I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Time you learn about resolver, Danny. I was six when I rigged my first bike with a chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, Danny. Get, let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix that. Rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In this case, it's gunpowder and scraps. Sometimes I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, how can you kill people faster? The answer is soft target rounds. Excellent, Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay, let's look at your other rifle. Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. You're gonna need some armor-piercing rounds. These rounds fly straight and true and go- Nice! Now you got your own supply of high-velocity war crimes. 
Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang into a bang at the cost of some range. See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Go see with it. Damn. Making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you can build a new Yara. Danny, want to steal hey. something excessively oh, yeah. dangerous? Danny, I've got big plans for you. But first, I need you to get a thing for me. Now, I hear you ask, one, what is this thing you need? All you need to know is don't try to eat it, talk to it, or put it in your pants. But one, I hear you ask, where is this thing you need? Head for the radio tower and follow the trail north. It'll take you to an abandoned camp on the east side of the island. I can mark it on your map. You'll meet my contact there. She'll hook you up. And Danny, you pull this off, I'm gonna give you something for pulling me from the bottle. A little gift an old friend gave me for saving his life. Not that you saved my life, just... I get the fuck out of here. Easy as smoking a cigar on Sunday. Oh! Let's go! Juan, I found the tower. Don't stop now, Danny. Find the guerrilla path and follow it to my contact. See, si, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Juan described you pretty well. My name is Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. Perdon, I, I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. Just show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. Conscript or volunteer? Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. So now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. He can also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. Right. No weapons. Pesos ready. Hi. 
There he is. Hope you got some pesos on you. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, keep moving. You got something for me? Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. Hey, thanks. Sure. Whatever you and Raisa are about to do, I don't want to be around for it. Everyone's got their price. Not every soldier's a fanatic. Some are just trying to feed their family. Just remember to put the guns away before you approach them. Use your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. I bet Juan's already given you his right tool for the right job talk. There's the officer in charge. Alvarez has the key to the armory. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. In Castillo's army, that means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. This fort is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some, and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. That parachute I gave you could come in handy here. Just don't drop into the middle of the fort, okay? This wasn't everybody?
Found the armory. The uranium is inside. In the clear. The uranium. Got your fucking uranium, one! Then get your ass back to me! Next time they're better... One! One! Oh yeah, one. Ha <laughs> ha! This is Resolver, Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Lita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay, what the hell is this? This is a Supremo. Looks like a rocket launcher. See, si, she does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you resolve her, Juan. So do I. Hola. Que vola. Supremos are like a good lover. Or a great sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes, but I'm talking about layers, Danny. Head to the workbench and I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Supremos aren't just simple tools of destruction, Danny. Let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all happen. Pick a gadget, Danny. This is a safe space. There's no wrong answer here. Go talk to Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout. Hello, my friend. You better be willing to die for our cause. Now go talk to Clara. Time to put that Supremo to use, guerrilla. We need to talk. 
I don't need to tell you that Viviro is the lifeblood of Castillo's regime. He's built work camps to produce it all over Yara. These plantations use outcasts as slaves to grow the tobacco plants they turn into Viviro. These are our people, Danny. Beaten, tortured, sprayed by poison chemicals. There's a camp on this island. We tried to destroy it when we invaded. We failed. Now we're going to finish the job. Will you hit that slave camp hard? Suerte. are in an experimental phase. They need time to breathe after you use them. You know, so they don't overload and kill you. Could have told me before I strapped one to my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? <laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> You'll get it. You actually showed up. Listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami, but instead my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there, and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. situation will keep you alive yeah right tool for the right job been hearing that a lot lately listen Julio Lita was like a sister to me she shouldn't have been on that fucking boat she died because of you for us. no Anton Castillo killed Lita if I could change anything it would be me dying on that beach Lita was a better person than I could ever be and if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, we need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, so we call it the poison because it fucks up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Coño. So you're military. Marksman? Close assault? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, 
But guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Up here, Dali. Fumigators. See the Viviro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? See. Si. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Viviro bullshit. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. A song. Hit me. We'll burn this fucking place to the ground.
On my way. Oh yeah. Shit. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... <laughs> Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See, si. Listen, if you are good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Talk to him. That's a good horse.
Go! Carao, I'm exhausted. Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. She even had us fishers hooked on her Libertad nonsense. Convinced us to help her little invasion of Santuario. Lost five of my best. Now Clara calls me begging for boats, more recruits. I'm a pirate first, Fisher second. Thank the blockade for that. We use our boats to pull fish from the sea, and we get people and contraband past the army. But El Presidente tied in his grip. The new Comandante, Rosario, has locked down all the fuel to keep it out of Libertad's hands. Murders anyone who dares get near it. Clara wants us to help Libertad? Take back that refueling station. Kill Rosario. Help put food back on our tables. Suerte, mija. Hey, here. The only thing better than a guerrilla is a guerrilla with a nice ride. You want me to steal one? <laughs> Been doing that since I was a kid. You're in the big leagues now. You need a car? Just call for one. I'll have a friend bring it right to you. Gracias. But you don't have any friends, Juan. Just shut up and call for a car, Danny. Danny, where are you? Heading to the fuel depot. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an FND base now. It's an FND base now. Danny, the army has bases all over Yara. We want freedom. We need to break their grip on the island. I'll do what I can, Clara. Straight from the shop. Clara, I'm at the depot. Okay. Libertad needs that fuel. So taking that depot isn't just about dealing with the army. It also means securing that gasoline. You've got to do this smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout out cameras and alarms.
When you defeat Anton, we will be free again. Benito, the fuel station is open again. You can take as much as you need. Okay, Danny. But now is the hard part. The Comandante Rosario is a murderer, and she's not going to stop. As long as she's alive, this island isn't safe. I hear you, Benito. I bet this place has a stash room. of Bencejo. Yeah, taking care of a Comandante problem for Benito. Watch yourself. The military in Bencejo is much stronger, better equipped, and better trained. Find some high ground, do some scouting before you pull the trigger. Remember, rule number nine, right tool for the right job. Rule number ten, shut the fuck up. You're an adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. I should keep an eye out for Rosario. Better watch myself. Supremo can kill that tank. Or maybe I can steal it.
It must be Rosario. That takes care of Rosario. Adios, asshole. You want us to take down Anton ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. The fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Hefa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns, today. Because today I'm going to punch a hole through Castile's warships! I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. Chopper up and running? See, si, but there's an anti aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Okay, Juan, I'll take it out. 
Sirio, because if it gets me, I'll make sure my fiery corpse comes down on you like a meteor. Whoa! Aircraft cannons out. Sky is yours. Whatever. As long as you got my back. Vamos. Don't worry, I'm a friend. Clara, I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse, sitting pretty with an RPG and perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. Juan? Focal of guerrillas! Air Juan is in the skies and my bullets are hungry! Remember, we take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at this, Libertad. See you on the other side. <clears throat> <clears throat> Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. Look before you leap. If Lito was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio.
Clara, I'm on board. This is it, Danny. Clear those ships and don't be afraid of using their own weapons against them. Those turrets pack one hell of a bunch. Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang 
come back, set charges, and make sure those ships are blown to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Where are you, Clara? There's Clara. <laughs> Viva Libertad, Danny. Show. I have to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs. Until we could scrape up some money, open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free election solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, born-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarens will be killing Yarens for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yara is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can't really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. <sighs> Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Fedors! Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break, like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa, you've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the 
Monsieur. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave? Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best, Kiria. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50 50. Hell of an office, Juan. In Afghanistan, I smoked a cigar made of pony shit. Left my voice a little hoarse. Ah, Juan does it again. All right, let's work. Want me to make you the best Supremos and Resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan, will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Castillo was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castillo controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara, 
Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Philip Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we gut Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Jefa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Tara's best guerrilla. You are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich. From a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants. But she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor. From the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? Do you want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. What kind of person works in a place like this? Vamos! You Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 Philly here. Whoa, what's in your back? Nowhere I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Can you just come here? Can you hold that down for me? That's a dead man switch. One move. So, why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say I was coming? Clara, Libertad. Those are big names to throw around. But I don't see Clara. 
I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. Okay. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. Tony, say what? What? Feeling magic, baby. Want us to help Libertad? You need Carlos Montero, oh. our backbone. His family is going to save our land. Great. Take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero. <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. <laughs> La Espada, his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outcast plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. La Espada, oh, man, she's a fiera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, dear. No. Well, then don't let the poison get you down. <laughs> Fucking comedian. <laughs> don't worry, I'm a friend. Espada is in fucking around. Shit, another one. Should call her the blade. Binga, she's fucking good. What the fuck is happening up there? To our country, your boss, Napoleon Epequeño. Stop! Please! Who the fuck are you? Danny, from Libertad. You, baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking feely. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? <gasps> Please don't kill me. <gasps> Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Ah, oh, Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, Private Island. Got what you need? No, but it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one oh. by one. Oh. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right aquí. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. We'll take the horses outside. Okay. We got soldiers down! Intruders! Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced off. Military is going to be on our ass. Intruders! We got trouble! Binga! Down. We got Intruders! trouble! There you are! Intruders! We got
Let's go. This way. Come on. Right behind you. Keep up and stay close, okay? Okay. <gasps> Let's ride. That's Come on. It. You're okay. Listen now. Go. Them. See, we're good. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Military academy. 16 to 21. Mm, we can use that. I also make a mean mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. Haven't had anything but Philly septic tank shit for weeks. I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Seems like Castillo's made things pretty rough out here. His nephew Jose is the real problem for us. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon the Pequeño. Little Napoleon? Cute. The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for 200 years, and now he's turned it all into slave camps for that Vivido bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Poison made him sick. Not that he'd ever admit it. Now papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need Libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. <laughs> but Papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trust his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something different about you. You're not like the others Clara sent. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe. How far away is this camp of yours? Not far. You in a rush? No, no, it's okay. Getting some good cardio in. What's going on? You're in the West now, Guerrera. The sword and the hero. <laughs> nice to see you two alive. Got all find it, Hannah. It was all trouble, but lucky for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. El Hef is making dinner. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is... I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. These are farmers, not fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 hey. Leave Chorizo out of this. <laughs> our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us? That's why I'm here. 
Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Choris. Save it for the serpent. Come on. Lost tourist? Listen, Carlos, I know you don't trust me or Clara or Libertad. Or all the other little come mierda she sent. And I don't blame you. We got no history here. You got that right. What else you know? I know that Napoleon El Pequeño stole your land. I know that the poison he sprays on your fields is killing your people. I know that you're sick, and you would rather die than ask for help. Don't throw anything away that you can use. The depot where they store the poison. Burn it to the ground. The dusters, let's spray the tobacco. Rip them apart. The fumigators in the fields. Kill them all. You got it, Jefe. Send me a postcard. Clara, I made contact with the Monteros. How did it go? Well, Carlos wants nothing to do with me, but I get along with his daughter. I think she's my way in. You need to understand them. Become one of them. First step is understanding this camp. I'm going to have a look around. Okay, Danny. Take care of yourself. Carlos, it's Danny. Danny from Libertad. I know. Do you think I forgot or something? No, I just didn't know if... Forget it. I'm coming up on some of Castillo's poison. Look for yellow containers. Crop dusters and fumigators got the poison too. Okay, I'm on it.
Gracias. No problem. Just fucking text. What is this, the 90s? More poison destroyed. And one step closer to earning that old man's trust. That's a good horse. in flames. That Carlos would love to see this.
is done. Good. Let's see if Napoleon and Pequeño gets the fucking message. I got more work for you. Come back to camp, trying to get lost, tourist. Oye, guerrilla. Build me a real guerrilla camp, he says. The work never ends. Spent Fucking so much Carlos. Time. We got to get him to a doctor. He looks worse than he did last week. Poor bastard was in those fields too long. Lots of ah, a new guerrilla. I got word that Jose is pissed about his poison. You fucked up his operation good. Maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe. So now I'm going to ask you for a favor. Our people are rotting in Jose's prisons. One of them, Miguel, is like a son to me. We'll need a prison truck to bust them out. Steal one, then meet me at the gas station near the prison. We drive in, grab our people, and leave before anyone gets smart. I'm trusting you with this tourist. Don't fuck it up. Don't take too long with that prison truck. Or something for you. Through Yaras, wise words from our president. Rio Verdad, through music. Got the drop. Good. Come get me at the gas station. On my way. Master of Disguise over here. Shut up and get in the back. Okay. First time going back to this place since I broke out. It used to be a school. I sent my kids there. How long were you inside? Eight months. Maybe more. 18 hour days in the fields getting whipped and breathing in poison fucks with the memory. Sounds like hell. See, si, but I had Miguel. We kept each other straight. You said he was like a son to you. Toughest motherfucker I know. Raised him like he was my own. Taught him to box. He almost made Senor Yara before we got taken. How did you get out? Camila snuck in one night. Sliced up three guards. Took two bullets to her shoulder. Grabbed the hostage and sprung me and Philly. Oh yeah, sounds like a spada. That's my girl, but she couldn't find me again. By that time there was too much heat, so we left him behind with more of our people. Just hope there's something left of him. We're close, 
No more talk. Carlos Montero, what are you doing here? Where's Miguel? I don't know. The guards took him somewhere in the prison. Mierda. It's off. We walk. Go. I'll find Miguel. If you get caught, it's you against the fucking army. It's okay, Papa. I wore my big boy pants. Crazy motherfucker. Meet us at the gas station when you got him. Suerte. De pinga. I don't even know what this guy looks like. Carlos. Up ahead. Up ahead where? The gas station. I know it's hard, but you have to trust me. Everything's okay now. Carlos said he took you in. Taught you boxing, that kind of thing. He didn't teach me shit. I schooled him. How long you know, Carlos? Few days. Drop shit! Don't make friends with outsiders. I'm right behind you. Anyone else waiting with Carlos? Sere, you ask a lot of questions. Just him. Almost there now. There he is, Senor Yara. Come on, get in. Hell yeah, brother. I knew you'd come for me. <laughs> you look like shit. 
I thought you motherfuckers were on rations. <laughs> Still a dick. Still dry. Good for you. I'll drink his. Miguel. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't come for you sooner. I tried. You know I'd never forget you. Enough bullshit, Carlos. We do what we do to survive, mi hermano. Enough talk. Give me that fucking guitar. <laughs> did good, tourists. When I first saw you, I wanted to gut you like a crocodile, but you're Montero now, Danny. Gracias. So, do I call you Papa now? Shut up and drink. So we're good friends now, see? No hard feelings. Almost blowing you up is the past. We got to look to the future. And I see a military truck in your future. With special ammo, special weapons, and a special sauce. I'm feeling once it real bad. I like to plan ahead. And I got big plans to bump up the Montero firepower, see? First step is that truck. They're loading up. Suerte. Bring it back and we'll talk. Billy, I'm at the marina. Now, whatever happens, just don't bounce the sweet baby. What? The truck, don't damage it. Drive like there's a big bouncy baby feel in the back. Bouncing baby feel. Got it. You're gonna make baby feel cry. Just bring that truck back in one piece. Okay, hero? <laughs> One very stolen truck is on the way. Perfect. Okay, send it straight into my loading arms. But don't let nobody follow you. Huh? Be like a cat in the night. A smooth, sleek, sexy cat. Yeah. Eh, I'm more of a dog person. So is Chorizo. But he forgets sometimes.
Cola, sin cola. The hero returns. Yeah, and the hero needs rum. Pinga. What's happening here? Feeling magic, babe. Mierda, I almost died for packing foam. No, 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 no. White gold. Hard to get. Birds like a motherfucker. Everything gotta know a purpose, Hero. Even you. Papa didn't scare. I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Villarreal. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. Taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can swim. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once. South of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, is the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. Not me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, si. that's how we got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon El Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit, but if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things. Be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. You 
you smoking Mexican? Tabaco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierdas. Shit. ¿Qué pasa? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's with the lieutenant we've been looking for. Looks more like a scientist. Let's take Jose out. No. You might hit the lieutenant. What's going on? Fuck. Hey, over there. I need to know where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help. We were chosen by General Castillo to patrol his personal island. Mierda! Scientist man. This says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Let's go check it out. Maybe there's something that tells us where he went. Congratulations and welcome to my island, fellow soldiers. You are here. Madre de Dios. Fuck that shit. Think Jose's got a computer around here?
No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojones. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny. Gracias. José es un monster. Hola. José was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Revmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then are you going to tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El come mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation. Make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. A lot of heat. So how you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it. Better watch my step. I see you, sniper. There, again.
Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time? Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pa'l carajo. Ale. Suéltame! Cojone! And I am telling you now, I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running to the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you call yourself, what is it? The spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa is sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. Yeah. 
is family. Like any family, we love each other. But that love... Oye, Dani. Who did they take? Doesn't matter. They're our people. How many times are we going to bail them out, Papa? When does it end? Camila, this is family. I say we cut our losses. Well, you don't get a say because this isn't your fucking camp. What's going on? Jose got our people. He's going to hand them in Verdera Square. They are fucking fault. They got cut. No. It's your fault. How many times have I told you they need to learn what it is to be a guerrilla from us? But you, you never listen. To get faith, you have to give it. I don't like it. So what? We're just going to leave them behind? Mierda. I know what that's like. A small pack. Us five. We go in, grab our people, kill whoever gets in our way. Jose is going to have military. Gonna need ice on them. Well, the, the church got a bell tower. You can see everything from there. Stay the night in the tower before the execution. Don't want anyone seeing you get up there. Got just a thing for you, Hiro. Fill your rifle with a high power scope. I'll plant the gun. Miguel, me, and Camila at the square. Philly waits at the radio tower. And no cell phones. Pero hasta el final, Camila. Oh, just not sleeping well. I was the same when I first got here. Yeah, the gods are shit. Carlos, I'm near the church. Oh, yeah, it's Miguel. Miguel, where's Carlos? He's busy. Can you get to the bell tower? I think so. Good. I left the rifle up there for you. Stay low. Don't let the soldiers see you. Okay. Suerte, my friend. Position. Okay, Jefe, I'm here. I'll keep the engine running. Suerte. Got eyes on Jose. Not shoot until I say. Hello, Yarans! 
You honor me today with your presence, just as I honor you with mine. These are the fake Yarans, and they have no place here in our paradise. As punishment for their crimes. He's gonna die here. We need to move. Espada! I got him. You cover me. Understand?
here. Come on, let's go now. Let's move, Hero. Go, Philly, go. You were supposed to cover us! The rifle jammed, Miguel left me a defective gun. Fuck! I knew we couldn't trust that piece of shit! They knew we were coming! The whole thing was a setup! Binga! You know it wasn't your brother. We already know he's a fucking traitor. And what about Philly? He's the one who knows explosives. Espada! You saved your papa, but didn't think once to save me. You left me to die in that fucking camp. Philly, I think we're losing him. You think your papa had it bad? Think of what Jose can do to a man. When he has the time. Stand back, Hero! I could have given up this whole fucking camp, but I didn't! Fuck 
fucking Monteros. We're all dead, Camila. Castillo's already won. He's breathing! It's Bala! Balance your stance. A lion finds calm. Behold a kill. Si, Papa. Mm -hmm. Fire me! Ah! Que bien, uncle. <laughs> well, now you have heard of our great victory in the West. Carlos Montero is dead. His guerrillas on the run. The tobacco fields secure. Fire! Ay, come on, mirada. Give me that. Bien. Bien. Your cousin seeks praise, Diego. If I knew his plan, I would have told him that the Montero roots run deep in the farmlands. Two hundred years. Yes, uncle, I was trying to surprise you. Diego, how many of your uncle's soldiers come from the farmlands? Eighty percent, Papa. Correct. And now, he has made a martyr of the most famous Montero. <laughs> Let's see how many of his soldiers want to rebuild paradise now. Por favor. I, I... You killed my son's last bird. Run. What? Run. Hola, Dani. I never got to thank you for saving my life. You and Camila could have left me to die, but you didn't. Gracia. Word got back from Father Pietro in Verdera. He has Papa's machete. It's all that's left of him. I want to go and get it back, but I'm in no shape. Papa is dead because of me, and I can't even do this for him. The priest is expecting you, Dani. If you'll go, that is. Gracias, Dani. Gracias. Clara, we walked right into a trap. Carlos is dead, and the brother Alejandro isn't doing much better. Dani, you can't let that family fall apart. We don't just need the Monteros to take down Jose. We need them to take Esperanza and put his uncle Anton in the ground. See, si, Clara. I'll find a way. Hey there. Hi. Hello, my child. Are you Father Pietro? Si. Sí. Alejandro said you'd come. You know, I remember the day I married Carlos to his wife. So long ago. I'm sorry. The machete is gone. What? What happened? Soldados. They'll be at their favorite bar nearby. Laraja. I'll mark it on your map. Gracias, Padre. We need your and I'm sorry about the mess.
truck. Thank God. Your papa's machete belongs with the Montero. And that's where it's going to stay. Gracias, Danny. Doing what I couldn't. See you soon. Defendiendo a su gente con su valor y sin dar ni un paso atrás. No llores porque Carlos Montero partió con ideas de libertad. Y aunque no esté con nosotros, siempre lo vamos a recordar, su siembra. Just because we saved you doesn't mean we want you. Come on. This is his papa's funeral. Carlos for Alejandro? Shit trade. <clears throat> Alejandro, you've done enough. Go. Espada, he's your brother. Yeah, not yours. How's the leg? I never knew your papa, but my family worked these lands for 50 years. I... I have intel on General Jose. Let me give you his lieutenants. Por favor. You'll need new uniforms, compais. I'm sending you a picture of the Libertad safe house there. When you get to the Guerrillon lookout, ask about the night shift. The night shift? Okay, Clara, I'm on my way. Anyone need gear? Because I need cervezas. I'll make a relax out of you. This is the place. Heard you got a spot on the night shift. explosives here, here, and here. Speech starts, charges detonate, we create a ring of fire around that hotel hotter than the devil's asshole. Which means? Castillo's forces can get out and reinforcements can get in, with Danny right in the middle. And then what? Danny kills El Presidente. It's beautiful. Hey, Danny. Danny! Look at that sexy Supremo! You want me to kill Anton Castillo? Today, Anton is giving his annual Independence Day speech at the Hotel Paraíso, live. Juan has intel on the exact location of his security detail. One in a million opportunity. We're gonna cut the head off the snake and make boots from his skin. Mierda. And you good with this? Kill a dictator who has raped our land and turned our people into slaves? Thinking about it. What about you? Never killed the president before? <laughs> it's an assassination, Danny! It's guerrilla myth! 
Christ, I need a shower. And you need this. You're gonna be a fucking guerrilla legend! I'll call you! <laughs> He's too excited. He's right. Kill Castillo and Libertad will rise in the chaos. And after that, who knows? Who knows? Go put that come mierda down. Viva Libertad. at checkpoints. Find the generators. They pop real nice. Okay. Okay. How do I trigger them? You don't. Clara and I have guerrillas out planting bombs all over Esperanza. It will be a Semtex symphony. You're on the tuba, and I am the conductor. Vamos, Danny. Pepinga, I can't keep up with your metaphors. Some fireworks for our anniversary. One, the packages have been dropped off. You sound like a fucking postman. Just say A1, I planted the bombs. I sent you a photo of where you can find me. On my way. I'm on the rooftops in front of the hotel. If you forget what I'm like, just look for the father figure you always wish you had. I think you mean drunk uncle, Juan. Hey, I'm six hours sober. Don't jinx it. As president, I have sworn an oath to protect Yara. And so I must protect its democratic institutions as well. There will be no elections until Yara is free from Libertad's terror. 
But I will continue to I think I lost them. You are unprecedented. President Andrew Castillo has declared you my lord. Remain in your home. Getting close to one. Hey, buddy. So, forget the plan or just don't care? Fuck the plan. I'm going in. That is both fucking reckless and fucking stupid. I love it. Enough charges have been set. Ready? PTSD for everyone. Hotel's all yours, Danny. Get in there. Without Castillo's head. Elevator. 
And now you, my true Yaras, are delivering on that vision. The draft to rebuild Paralyze is a great success. We are producing a cancer treatment the world is desperate for. The demand for Viviro has never been high. We have already begun to construct a capital city that embraces our past but looks to the future. We have found a path to paradise. And yet once again, another so-called revolution, another group of terroristas, another pack of fake Yarens, Libertad is nothing but a cancer from within. But the key for the we want to burn everything we've built to the ground. But now, the stakes are much higher. For the fake Yarens. What's happening? Are you inside? I'm inside. Do you see Anton? Danny? There's nobody here. Clara, I think the speech was a recording. It's a setup. Anton's soldiers are coming for you. Get out of there. You were the one who got me on that boat. You should be dead. I was the lucky one. What's your name? Danny, and you? You know who I am. You are here to kill my father. Last I checked, you were trying to get the fuck away from your papa. I shouldn't have done that. Why? Because you were the lucky one. He's a monster, Diego. He was raised that way. And you won't be? You are not going to kill me! Depends if you fire that thing again. If I run, he finds me. If he finds me, Yarens get hurt. Don't you get it? He'll never let me leave. How old are you again? Do you have family? No. You looking for one, Chamaco? You should leave Yara. He won't stop till all of you are gone. Mierda. Keep your head down. This way. Fucking dictators. Gracias. Hey, Danny. My papa is sick. That's why he's not here. Coño, she's beautiful. Don't mind if I do, Castillo. like old dictator. We didn't get Castillo, but we did some damage to his regime. Damage? You punched Anton's regime in the balls today. Go buy yourself a cerveza. You earned it. Hey, you ever hear anything about Castillo being sick? No? Why? Uh, I overheard some guards. Hmm. It's good intel. I'll be in touch. Every step we take gets us closer to a free era.
Good, you're here. Can't sleep. I close my eyes and all I see is Jose and his three little pigs from the church. I want those motherfuckers dead. You know I made eye contact with one of them? Hijo de puta smiled at me. Smiled at me as my papa died. We tracked them down thanks to those soldiers who joined us. The three lieutenants are all partying at a hotel. Singao. I got my hands full with these recruits. I can't leave. So I want you to kill those lieutenants, Danny. Kill them all. And make sure Jose gets the message. Suerte, Danny. There you are. Palatinga. He's making a break for it. Hey, Rojas. Your target's leaving the area. Shit. Okay. Gracias. One down, but the others aren't here. Motherfuckers, check inside the hotel. See if you can pick up their trails. I need them in the ground, Danny. All of them. Okay. Okay, that's fucked up. Hmm. Peña could be at her favorite spa. Now to find the other lieutenant. Okay. Looks like he's at his ranch. Time to go take out both these assholes. 
Not yet, but I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. people. My friends. Great friends. Castillo took them all. Doesn't get easier, does it? Ask me when this is all over. for Carlos. Hey, got an update. Okay. Said goodbye to the come mierda who like to hang out at the spa. She had some unique tastes. Good, fuck her. Hey, a magic horse. Yeah! Hold on! Easy! Bang, bang! You're dead, motherfucker! They're gone. All of them. Danny, I don't know how to thank you. This is justice for Papa. It's more than that. It's how we scare Jose out of hiding. It's how we show that little shit who he's dealing with. That's right. That's fucking right. Gracias, Danny. Hey, 
Hey, look, it's Danny. Feels like this camp Hola. will never be. The camping. Gracias, Danny. Gracias. Good luck. By the plantation. Go to the coast, south of the fields. There's an anti-aircraft cannon near an airstrip there. Suerte. Gracias. Go! Danny! The military keeps some of that depleted uranium by those anti-aircraft sites. Snatch me some so I can gift you more Supremos. And if you blow those cannons to bits, you can fly free as a bird in Yara skies. One cannon gone. for the anti-aircraft cannon by Verdera. It's past the church on the north edge of town, next to a region some farmland. Okay. But watch your back. Better watch myself.
There's the computer. Time to see how good of a hacker I am. Time to go.
Hey, I took out the radar. My family is lucky to have you around, Danny. When you stab Jose in the heart, give it an extra twist for me. They're gone. Hero, meet me at Susurro Caves. You're in a cave? You piss off the camp or something? No, 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 no. Not yet. Just come, okay? Got an emergency, medical. Sort of. Medical, mechanical emergency. Hiro, come here. Today's the day. Meet my new baby, Diesel Daisy. Feed her gasolina, and she gives us diesel. Mixed with the foam, and we got napalm, baby. Napalm. Going to light Jose up so you can see his hands from space. <laughs> Open up her valves, and let's see what she can do, huh? Be gentle. She's nervous around strangers. Get the other balls. Working on it. Work it, Hito. Work it. It's getting hot. My hot headed Daisy. One more left. You need help, Philly. You blew her top. Hero, we're gonna need parts to put her back together. First, a special circuit board. You can only get them off oil platforms. No problem for you, but we need something else. It's at the Krog farm I used to go to. I'll send you a pic. You, you will know it when you see it. Okay, Hero, time to make magic together. Okay, Philly. I can't take the suspense. What am I looking for? Croc head, hero. You know the head? Like the mascot? Very, very important. I knew I shouldn't have asked. No, Croc. No, just do what you do. Ah! Uh. With all these soldiers around, I wonder if he made it out.
Carajo. That's a lot of hungry crocodiles. Big to your arm, like I said. <laughs> Bet Chorizo would go crazy for this crock meat. <laughs> this has to be the key to your boyfriend's stash. Too bad you ate him, but that's love for you. Carajo, that's a lot of hungry crocodiles. Another day, another fucked up yard in your story. Billy has me searching an oil rig for parts. Then you can kill two birds with one stone. Secure that oil for Libertad and try not to blow it up. We could use every drop. Got it. Billy, not the oil rig. What am I looking for again? The secret board here. It's like a piece of metal with stuff on it. Thanks. Very helpful. I don't want to rush you, but Daisy's waiting. She don't like to wait. Got everything, Philly. The See, see, even the crockhead. <sighs> I will love you until my dying day. Okay, come back to Daisy here. Okay, I'll dump Billy's stuff on his work table. Billy! Yeah, Hiro! Got your stuff! <laughs> Why is Daisy wearing an IED? Sometimes we gotta hurt the ones we love, Hiro! After she makes some napalm for us. But first, I gotta fix her. With a crockhead? Yeah. Fires of the Philly Magi. That's my Daisy! True love.
They're shooting like they want to blow themselves up! Oh, they're about to. I gotta get this truck out of here. You have to take care of this old Daisy. Don't let these dirty soldiers put their hands on her. Please, they say goodbye for me, okay? <laughs> Done. Daisy's. No, stop. I want to remember my Daisy the way she was. She loved you. Only had good things to say. Uh. Okay. But she didn't die for nothing. She blessed us with gallons and gallons of her sweet, fiery sweat. And we're going to rain that sweat down on Jose and wash him. <laughs> If only Daisy had lived to see it. I know. I'm sorry you lost her, Philly. It's just a machine here. Don't be weird. Better watch my step. Matting next. We've got Outcast 3401. A heavy hitter. Straight out of the farm system. That was weird. Better not question the Philly magic. Some wisdom from our valiant president. <laughs> Think I found the perfect plane. I just got to park it in Philly's hangar.
beautiful hero. Time to work the Philly magic. I'll see you back at camp. Hey, look, it's Danny. Danny, we've picked up some intelligence on Jose. I think he's starting to crack. So things are going to get crazier? Just what I need. Just keep up the pressure. I'm heading back to the Monteros farm now. See what I can do. There's always something to do on a farm, Danny. Nice try, Clara. But you're a city kid like me. Here we go. So what's our next move, Espada? You got any ideas? You're not listening! You're not listening! Shut your mouth! We have to hit Jose's tobacco. Head enough out of you, Singao! You just gonna let this happen? <laughs> Long time coming, Danny. <clears throat> Montero Justicia. Stop! Your brother's a traitor! See, si. And he'll spend the rest of his life making up for it. You ready to look in the mirror and admit your mistakes? You first, Camila. Fine. I voted for Castillo. I didn't want to, but Vivido was going to make us rich, wasn't it? Mierda, I doubted you. All of you. I blamed you for not being guerrillas. But Papa was right. To get faith, you gotta give it. If you want to... If you want to say, you have to think big. He don't where it hurts. His tobacco fields. We dried out already. No, all of his fields at once. Draw his soldiers out, leave him open. That's smart. Well, lucky for us, Philly plans ahead. Me and the hero got you covered. Good. We divide our forces. Targeted strikes, checkpoints, guard posts, everything. In and out. And then we hit that airbase hard. Now what the fuck are we still doing here? Dale! Yaranos hasta el final, Roberto. Hasta el final. Hold on to your ass, hero. Report this to my greatest boy. Nepal Nino. Metal bird, hellfire, and the hope of the West all in one. So you've flown this? No, never. I'm afraid of heights. But I'll be the wind beneath your belly. Moral support while you rip Jose a new one. <laughs> oh, 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 hero, hero. You're gonna need my soundtrack. Philly magic, babe. Danny, we need you back at camp. What's going on? We need to figure out next steps. On it. See you soon, Espada. Okay, Philly, let's see what you got. Philly magic, baby. Fucking Philly. Guerrillas, you ready? I want to hear you. Sanchez, ready. Torres, I'm here. Nepom Nino, all good up here. Serrano, ready. Ortega, let's fucking go. We draw out Jose's forces and leave the airbase open. Then we hit him with everything we got. Let's kick some ass. Eso, eso! You are one with Nepal Nino! Feel the rhythm, hero. Feel it. Oh shit, Philly. Yeah. 
Herr Willi! Like that, El Pequeño? Still got to burn more. Almost done now. Uh. Oh, hell yes! That takes care of the Viviro. And you're next, Jose. Gotta get to that airfield. Ortega, where's your status? I don't see anybody yet. I think we're clear. South of the base, ready to move. We good to start shooting or what? Three o'clock! Open fire! Our tiny general. One of our guerrillas said he's putting him in the control tower. Okay, heading there now. He's not here. Coño, you sure? Little Comemieta could be hiding in some tight places. No, he's...
One million if you kill her. <coughs> Two million! Yard and cigarettes. Thought you couldn't find these out here. And Don loves me. He'll send this army to rape and murder every one of you fucking Monteros for this. I don't see no Anton. Or your true Yaren friends. You know, my papa gave me this blade when I was seven. Told me how to throw it. How to kill with it. <clears throat> you look just like him. Tell me, was there enough of him left to bury? <clears throat> but this blade doesn't really say Yara's might, does it? You took my land. You took my papa. And now it's time to give. No vemos Napoleon el pequeño. No like I remember it. Alice gone. Again. Well, then that's his choice. And Papa? Did he get a choice? Did he get to see us win something? You never would have won anything if he was still here. How the fuck would the Queen of Libertad know? I know he was never going to give you the farm, Camila. Or the camp. But look what you achieved. His father, you are what the camp needed. You are what Libertad needs. You are the one to help us take down Castillo. She's not wrong, Espada. There's no future for the West without help. And there's no future for Libertad without the West. Monteros don't shake. We drink. To the Montero. To the future. You want to confess? Confess. Why are we here? You never even liked Jose. Why? He was an asshole. Why? He was weak. Me papa had a saying. God gives victory to the lions. Sounds religious. <laughs> Me papa love Jesus. He would always say, Jesus would make an amazing Yale Presidente. Me and Dan always remember. Jesus was both the lion and the lamb. Rule with strength, but understand suffering. You believe that? After he was murdered, your grandmother and I were left to survive alone. She would always remind me of my father's obsession with that verse. She hated it. Why? Because he had it all wrong. Be the lion and the lamb? No. She would say, Anton, there are lions and there are lambs. Rule or be ruled. A Castillo must be a lion. For Yara is full of lambs. You don't talk about her. She was always strong, smart, powerful, but <laughs> a woman in Yara. And in those days, she had the wrong skin to lead. Me, Papa, was a lamb. Jose is a lamb. Hmm. You want to know why we're here? You are a lion. And we eat the fucking lambs. Danny, the West owes you its freedom. 
but we need to build momentum or the revolution will fail. Maximus, Matanzas, and the legends are out there, and they need your help. I hear you. Thanks, Clara. I'm near Aleste. And history is repeating itself. What do you mean? This is the land where legends are born, Dani. The 67 revolution started in Aleste. El Tigre, La Quimama, Lorenzo, Lobo, they led the guerrillas who overthrew Castillo's father, Gabriel. Libertad is taking Yara full circle. And they know I'm coming to give them the good news? El Tigre is very, very excited. Promise. That's me. You must be that kid Clara mentioned. Libertad's chosen one. I'm not a kid. Of course not. You're baby Tigre. And don't worry, I'll make sure you don't end up one of Benitez's trophies. Who's Benitez? Head of Castillo's navy, a real sea monster. She likes to hang traitors like fish for all of El Este to see. Al carajo. Well, I'm in Aleste now. I love it. <coughs> All of it. You, uh, have a long night? The rum and coke was flowing last night, baby Tigre. Minus the coke. In there? I'm sending you some photos. Should help you find us. Is that a crab rock? See. Si. Call me when you get there. And bring grappling gear. You're going to need it. Now get moving up our mountain. We can't wait to meet you, baby Tigre. Hey, El Tigre. I'm at the Crab Rock. Very... artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard cells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to la revolution. See, si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain, very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hola, cariño. Hello? A view from the waterfall. Come, Yunga. A view from the waterfall was so Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre. El Tigre. I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are guerrillas' best friends. Those a handful of grenades. <laughs> the waterfall ran red that day. You know, with all the blood. The friendly soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it. Goats. Fucking show offs.
Privet Tigre. After the war, that path became a famous hiking trail for sweaty touristas. They'd visit our camp, leave their shit everywhere, take photographs of us like we were animals in a zoo. So, we might have accidentally lit a few dynamite sticks and might have accidentally blocked the trail. Then I might have to accidentally unblock it. Exactly! <laughs> I love it! really disappear up here. It would make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Look out below! Okay! I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Ah, Lobo. A revolutionary. Warrior and a dear friend killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of it. El Tigre! What a Danny! What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicked in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Never do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me and the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. Her piece doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled. My baby Tigre. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. Really? Remember the three guerrilla pinches? Always be moving. Always be on guard. I've met the legends. Always kill your enemy before they kill you. Do whatever you have to and get them to join this fight. The people need heroes to believe in. I just hope they still want to be heroes. Baby Tigre, how's it going with those medical supplies? I'm working on it. Don't put off what you can do today, because tomorrow can turn into yesterday, and by then it's too late. I think you might need a nap, big guy. Looks like they dropped. What a mess. This is too easy. Que vola! Who are you? We're La Moral, and the Leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech? Yeah. This is property of Libertad. Ha, ah, Libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Tres, cuatro. Nice throw. Name's Danny, Danny Rojas. Uh-huh. Company! Over there, by the chopper! Shut her up.
en libertad. But Yelena needs these supplies. He got wounded. Yelena's your boss? Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring these to the legends. Libertad wants the legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara thinks they're dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral thinks they're full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. I'll tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper? Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. That was crazy! Can't believe we survived! Looks like a good place to raise a family. Look at you. Good as new. What? The supply. <gasps> Palapinga! El Tigre! Feast of the Revolution! You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señorita? Honron. Eh. I'm with La Moral. Uh, La Moral? Terroristas. Honron, this is Lorraine. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go, check out a Biovida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. <gasps> no, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting La Revolution. El Tigre. Sí. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in the museum, whatever. I can leave Puerta. Or maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. You don't feel it? Nope. I cannot believe how wrong this is. She's one of the best baseball players. To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. We're freeing El Este with or without them.
You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation up close. Swing by El Agujero is La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Say this password to our doorman. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way. Danny, where you at? Getting close, I think. So you know, Yelena's the big boss. I'm team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spy in Oloviara. You can't even fart in El Este without Gilberto's network hearing about it. Spies and hackers. La Moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around. And if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. Honron, I'm at Concepcion. How do I find La Moral? I'll send you a pic. Show no one. What are you sending me? It will help you find the door. Don't forget the password and remember. Curfew. Hola. Don't stop now, guerrilla. Hola. ¿Qué hay? Take down that tyrant. Hola. Viva la libertad. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. Welcome to El Agujero. Try anything and I'll cut your head off and use it as a football. Nice to meet you too. My name's Danny. Alfredo. Down the stairs. I'll talk to my people, honey. Big Jorge and Anna's gangs are probably on the ship. You're Yelena? Mierda! Danny, right? Where's my medicine? You mean Libertas meds? I gave them to the legends. No. You handed it to some retirees shitting their diapers on top of a mountain. What could you possibly want from them? We need more than bullets and guerrillas to take down Castillo. Like it or not, Yaranos love the legends. Clara Garcia loves her politics. Good luck getting those abuelos off their asses. We could use La Moral's help. You know why Clara never told you about us? Because to her, we're just a bunch of kids playing with guns. She loves to talk about the future. But it's her future, not ours. Clara's just a Castillo who lost his dick. So you have a better plan for Yara? Bullets first, politics later. You said you needed volunteers. Admiral Benitez got the jump on us a couple of hours ago. She's holding my people hostage on a cargo ship. I'll go. Alone? I don't get it. Consider us even for the meds. 
Save my people, then I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. For real? Libertad? No shit. You saving our people, right? That's the plan. I know a farmer with a helicopter who can fly you out to the ship. Follow me. Take all the rasol. Be nice to him. Go. Be nice, horse. You're with Libertad? I am. I think it would be great if we joined forces. Yeah? We've been fighting and we've been winning. But Admiral Benitez will always have more than we do. We kill one soldado today. Tomorrow they get re Where are you going? So, yeah. We kill one soldado today. Tomorrow they get replaced with three more. <laughs> and when La Moral people die, there's no one replacing them? Not yet. On top of that, these farmers and the people just trying to survive don't want to fight. We need fresh blood. Real fighters. What about getting the legends to join? We try. None of those abuelos want to fight. I heard a lot of them even support Castillo. You heard wrong. Well, I don't see any abuelos fighting now. I'm working on it. So, how do these farmers get a helicopter? They built it from the parts of ones we showed down. Pinga. These farmers are 100% on our side. The other farmers are not? Some are. Some are with Castillo. You think we can get them on our side? We're gonna need them. Only when we're going to liberate El Este. Maybe when they hear Libertad is fighting with us, they'll join. Your good propaganda, Danny. Mengaka, Yelena called. Do you want to lift to that boat? Let's do this. Get in. I'm going to be careful and stay low. I'll get you as close as I can. Where did you learn how to fly? I did my basic service as a pilot a couple of years ago. I got kicked out for calling the captain a come mierda. <laughs> I was kicked out of the ground forces. Turns out drill sergeants don't like getting punched in the throat. Good to know. I never seen you before. When did you join La Moral? <laughs> Wait. I was told you were with La Moral. I'm doing this rescue as a favor. I'm with Libertad. What can you tell me about La Moral? You know that village? They call it Maldito. That the real name? Yeah. Some Spaniard named it back in 1490, whatever. Couple months ago, Admiral Benitez decided to make it illegal to go to the water and fish. The people protested. Benitez executed half the town. So what does La Moral do? They tracked and killed every last soldado who did the executing. And I'm not talking about guerrilla ambush jungle shit. I'm talking about following them to their homes and slitting their throats while their families asleep. Assassin shit. These kids are smart, coordinated, and cold-blooded. Sounds like it. Shop pass. We keep tabs on military convoys passing through there and report them to La Moral. Seems like they run a tight operation. These kids are on the ball. Yelena is more organized than the military. La Moral's got our back. When Admiral Benitez started getting rough with our families, La Moral got rough back. Killed any soldado who dared to step foot on our lands. Pretty soon, they stopped coming. ship. 
I can't get you any closer. This is great. Gracias, mi amigo. Good luck saving those people. Elena, I'm on the ship. I freed as many as I could. Hang tight. I am sending boats and backup. Gracias. This is Admiral Benitez. <laughs> to the fake Yaran terroristas, I have you right where I want you. At this very minute, military forces are heading to your position. I recommend laying down your weapons and taking one last look at a nation that does not want you. Instead of peacefully serving Yara as outcasts, you will die. Right here. Right now.
those boats, Yelena. I'm waiting for you to clear the air. Can somebody tell those planes to hold still? I should have called earlier. The boat should be there any minute. Keep it up. Done. Your people are safe. I heard. We even for the supplies? Fuck yeah. Need me for anything else? I had to talk to Gilberto first. But you'll be hearing from me. You got my number. Gracias. You're not so bad, Annie. But you better keep an eye out. If you weren't on Admiral Benitez's radar already, you are now. Welcome to the real El Este. Danny, how is my legend? Getting old a bit too fast, if that's what you mean. I should head back to their camp, see what else I can do. I never promised an easy fight. Just the right one. <coughs> Shit! Maybe it's the pills? No, it can't be. Juan? Who is this? It's Danny, Juan. Who? Danny! Danny! Do you need something? You called me! Not possible in my current state. But I'm glad you reached out. Meet me on Libertad Island immediately. Eh? Why? Juan! <sighs> shit, Goño. I feel like bad shit's gone down here. It's about time. Need you to do some dead drops for the cause. You drop off the Viviro. I pick up the profits. Who are the drops for? You try these? I took one for research, now I can't stop. Turn my piss purple, you want one? No. Who's paying us for the Viviro, Juan? Before we slit Castillo's throat, we should ask for more flavors. It's the Yankees. Worse. CIA. The fucking CIA is in bed with Libertad? What's Clara think of this? Well, if she knew, I would hope it'd be something like, Thanks, Juan. I'm so happy to have guns to kill fascists named Castillo. Etc. Etc. Freedom costs money. Clara doesn't ask, and I'll never tell. It's a private club. Just you, me, and lighthouses filled with Anton's candy. Clara needs to stay shiny for the people. You're protecting her. I'm not so sure I'm the only one looking out for Clara. 
Just remember, after la revolución, she won't have time for a guerrilla like you. Just in case. That's the spirit, guerrilla. Clara, I've met La Moral. Why didn't you send me to them first? La Moral? Last I heard, they were a small group always on the edge of falling apart. They're doing more fighting than the legends. Okay, but watch your step. La Moral has a bad rep, and I don't want Libertad's name to be dragged down with him. I'll keep my eyes open. One down. I had hope for Clara, but I got you. You thought I wouldn't notice Libertad selling my Viviro to the Yankees? You're a dead man! When the Garillas arrested my family in 67, me, Papa, was dragged to this very cell. I was put in the cell next door. Thirteen. Like you, mijo. We used to talk every single night through this vent. I loved it. His voice taught me to be strong, to be a man. And then the Garillas came every day under charge. Oh. Yeah. Crime by crime, piece by piece, he paid to the Garillas. But we were still talk every single night. <laughs> Until they took his tongue for his lies to Yara. Stop! Papa, stop this! Who is this girl here to you? Ah. I think we should skip a few steps, Raoul. Viva Libertad. The attack. The Hotel Paraiso. Danny was there. You... You told me that you hid in the tunnel. Danny could have killed me. Could have given me to Libertad. We have no time for lies. I've stopped running. I've listened. I've learned. I've done everything you have asked. I will be El Presidente. Let Danny go. I am not a monster, Diego. We will give them a chance. Keep moving! 
doing, Dani? Right. We're burned. Castillo was waiting. He and his fucking general tried to kill me. Glad you made it. I, uh... I have to ask. Did you talk, Danny? Not a fucking word. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. The kid. Diego. He saved my life. What? Shot Anton's general dead. Old dog? Pinga. This is good. This is very good. We are playing 4D chess in space now, Danny. Fuck your 4D chess one. I just got my molars ripped out. Same thing happened to me back in the Congo. Except I did it to myself. Just chew in the front, like a rabbit. And Juan, let's leave Clara out of it. We got burned. That's all she needs to know. Clara's not enough to fucking deal with, let alone you almost getting torn to pieces. Gracias. What feels different? There's my baby tigre. I don't know what I'm here for. Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too. Even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud, sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the BioVira to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby tigre, and we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter? I won't have a jockey in my camera.
think I'm going to get sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. I need more pigs. They're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriella? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay. Get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> Lorenzo. I took pictures of that place Honron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Libertà and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the bien. You shoot the tree. We need them all. Dale. Hey, nice work with that rescue. I heard you keep No sign of trouble. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral if you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> Eso! Woo! So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We 
Neat, Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech pumped me up. See! Si! The part where you put the gun to your oh, head and pull the trigger, that was great! I like this young daddy ass. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would kiss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets. But we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. That little speech. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Come here. El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends, but Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum and three walked out. Hi. Oh yeah. Okay, careful, Danny. Here! I got the gun! You take the wheel! Get us out of here! Carlito's busted. I can't exactly carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him! El Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre! Don't be the driver's seat! Ryan, stop me now! Carlito was a tank. Yeah! Whoa! What are you talking about? It's Carlito! Everyone knows Carlito! Baby Tigre! There's a cave we use during La Revolution! Take a left at the road! Get to the nearby bridge! Nothing will stand in our way!
For eso, you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. Sí. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito, maybe. Ah, enough of that nonsense, El Tigre. Over here. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy tourists, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, shit. You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that.
focus on this one and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with him. Pinga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. I'm having flashbacks here. Yelena, <laughs> the dentist is dead. La morale is safe. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea coppas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral. So lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Danny. <clears throat> hey, what's the hold up? We gotta make a move on the convoy. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Hey, Danny, you recruit those 
farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. This cold I'm is kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. You need us? Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, convoy! <laughs> I'm a friend. Vamos, vamos! Easy! What's up? La Morale is not using us enough. We're set for an ambush at the pass. Knuckleballs? A go. I've been waiting for this. Time to show Honro what I can do. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. <laughs> Dale, Yegua. Voila. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Finger. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them. On run. I'm at Shao Pass. Cool. I'm keeping an eye on the convoy. I'll let you know when it's close. What should I do in the meantime? Hold a position. Hide. And wait. Waiting is like the most important thing a guerrilla can do. See? Si. Don't wreck this Just one. Just ready okay? to roll. Why don't you scroll your socials? <laughs> I don't do socials. Maybe play a game on your phone? I don't do games. Where is this convoy? It's coming. Not my thing. You should try. Hey, watch it! Come on, I think I spotted the convoy.
Head open. <gasps> Jackpot. This is going to help you, Monton. I heard you hit that convoy. See, si. on Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now, so watch the roads. Okay. Nice one, Danny. Admiral Benitez is pissed off and has her troops working double shifts all across El Este. Sounds like we have her right where we want her. Meet me at El Agujero. I want to go over my attack plan. I need to tell you, you the plan. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. Carlito will hold up. You ready? My baby Tigre. A big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. <laughs> so, I'm Santos? No! You are me, the Fist! Now, before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. There. I just imagined us destroying the Navy. We doing this? You kids today. You're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. Elias! Attack!
Like this way is blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can. A guerrilla has made it inside. Find them! Kill them! Stop shot for you! If you're not dealing with a guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas <laughs> outside! Fucking death around every corner here. Then make sure you're on the other side of those corners. Claro, El Tigre. Get me the fuck out of here! Help me! Open my cell! You can do it in the control room. Now, how do I open the door? Go Benitez ahead. Went in. Release the fake Yaran rats. They will die, just like you. Fuck. You think I wasn't was ready me. for an attack like this? Terroristas will have 
control of Aleste! Hold yes. here for as long as you can! I have ordered reinforcements! This is a bottleneck! You have the advantage here! I want all the guerrillas dead in the next five minutes! Cinco minutos! Benitez. Ojo por ojo. ¡Viva la moral! Por... ¡Benitez! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. 
Sí, mamá. Same mistakes, new faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went and all you got was a fucking mountain. Enjoy your trophy. Unita has his private stash. Huh? Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was Bebe Tigre. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Are you a legend? Open the cell. We respect. El Presidente has a strict... Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched him die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen these chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> I get the feeling I should be. Hell yes! Okay, it's on, Danny. Have a drink with me at Tucci's. It's a bar west of Concepcion Bay and north of Grand Hotel Caballero. You got it, Yelena. <laughs> the ancianos keep talking about their glory days. This party is aging me 30 years. Let's go. We're doing our own thing. We need Honoron. She's at a house on the beach. I'll drive. Let's ride. Hello. Hi. Follow me. I'm not drunk. I calculated my alcohol. I'm good to drive. You sure? I'm fine. So. Here's why you're really here. I just got off the phone with Castillo. What? He said, if I turn you in, he will release all of the outcasts in El Este. You're joking, right? It's for the greater good, Danny. What? Aren't you ready to sacrifice yourself for the good of Yara? <laughs> Coño, you're fucking with me. Of course I am. Shit, lighten up, Danny. Besides, I give up Lorenzo first. Where are we going? First to Honron, then our island. With Benita instead, it's safe to go back there. You have an island? It was our place to hang out, hook up, drink. I go there to study. Hell of a mix. <laughs> Honron and her brother showed it to me. Honron has a brother? Yeah. He and I... We had a thing. No shit. <laughs> Where is he? I need another drink for that story. We're here.
Tres hey, ciudad, come mierdas. <laughs> Hold on, always fucking cheats. <laughs> <laughs> You suck. Cállate. I was studying while you were playing games. Hey, it's trying. That counts. <laughs> what are you? The fucking UN? Let's get Danny a trophy for trying. What's next? Is this gonna be party, Yelena, or wiki, Yelena? Fuck off. You getting the grill? You know how I feel about using that thing. Animals have goddamn brains, too. You know dolphins can use tools? Cojone, there was a beautiful second I forgot you were vegan. Can you show Danny where the grill is? Yeah, yeah, you monsters. I'll show you where to find meat or fish to cook. Or plant-based food for the good of your soul. Hola. Playtime's over, Danny. Oh, no shit. You all just left me? You're the one who kicked us off our island. I... do not remember that. That's the least of our problems. I got some shit news. Our base was compromised last night. Oh, Repinga. How fucked are we? Gilberto's chameleons got word ahead of time. They were able to clean everything out before the soldados raided the place. Don't go back there. Where are you setting up shop? Thanks to you, at the Grand Hotel Caballero. Swing by soon. McKay and Castillo are already fortifying their poison production operations in La Jolla. You got it. Hello, Dios mío. vuelta. I still can't believe Benitez is dead. I can't stop telling everyone I know. Oye, What an announcement. McKay Industries invests 100 million into El Presidente's vision. So we hit McKay? He's the money behind Castillo. No. First we kill Castillo, then McKay won't matter. Yeah, what the fuck do we care about a Yankee in a suit? It's the money. No money, no tanks, no bullets, no soldiers. I got it. Elena, Honron, Lorenzo, me, and all of La Morale will go after Castillo. Danny, you kill McKay. That doesn't make sense. 
Oh, I was getting tired of talking. Rewind! Give me us! Batter up! <laughs>
Yelena, what's wrong? That was Gilberto. The attack. It wasn't to take the fort. It was to keep us inside. Tigre. We need to move! Run, Danny! Help me up! Please! <laughs> There's fucking poison everywhere! I can't see shit! Get the fuck out of there! Danny! I... On the run? On the run! Take down! was in those bombs. Bad time for an I told you so. I came to say goodbye to an old friend. Back in 67, we didn't mourn our dead. Death was glorious. We were stupid. Castillo and McKay crossed the line today. More will die and nobody is safe. Not an old legend. Or a new one. Or the leader of El Este. Or the fist of the revolution. We have to stop Castillo and that Yankee. We? You kids look like you could use a little luck. I don't want to hear a word about how Libertad and Clara fucking Garcia could have helped us. Not that you would, just... Mira, Honron and El Tigre are gone. Let's save our tears for after the war. Compartmentalize. Move on. That Yankee fucker McKay and his business are now our main focus. I need to learn more about his operations so I can plan our attacks. I need you to take out signal jammers. They are blocking all wireless data transfers in La Jolla. Destroying a couple of them will give me a connection to the packet they am giving you. Pop that thing into any computer in McKay's building, and I will have access to his network. We will find that Yankee's weak points, and bring him to his fucking knees. I uploaded a pic of the jammers to your phone. Got a jammer. We in. But if you move in now, my download.
Signal speed is going to be really slow. I bet McKay's building will be swarming with soldados. See, sí. so I highly recommend taking out more jammers or gearing up for a fight. I'm at McKay's building. The place is filled with Castillo loyalists. How you handle those people is up to you. You might be able to do this and not be noticed. Hey, sometimes it's good to be noticed. Gilberto says part of the building is being crowded, so if you see construction, chances are there'll be less people. Thanks for the tip. anything? Let's just say no one told McKay to clear his browser history. Hold on. Danny, I have the OIC schedule. It says McKay might be meeting people there today. I'm crossing my fingers.
lock out the soldados when I'm in there? You got it, Danny. How's it going there, backpack? How do you think, you Yankee asshole? Oh, well, Canadian asshole, actually. We're like Americans, except we say sorry as we slide the knife in. What you doing? You killed my friends. I'm here to pay you back. Mm. Gotcha. Now, when they died, did their brains leak through their ears and the nose? No, no, you know what? No spoilers. I'll check the footage once I put my little idiot to bed. Hey, primo job on Benitez, by the way. You did me a solid there. I was having this meeting with Castillo, and I saw the video of you animals hanging her. I mean, it's right here. It's on my phone, man. <laughs> he was... He was really ticked off. Good. You're next. Well, let's look at the facts. Your country's seven years behind the rest of us. If you just let Castillo and me do our thing, you people would go from third world to first. Like that. You people. I can feel the love. Jesus, Murphy, don't you get it? You're not my first gorilla. Yara's not my first shithole. This isn't personal, it's just your turn. So you just hang tight because I've got some real fun hombres heading your way. Sounds fun. What is that? What I need to destroy everything with your name on it. Security breach. See you soon, McKay. You fucking jerk off! Ugly building, no! No! ugly business. I'm moving. What an hijo de puta. But hey, I got more intel on McKay and Castillo's poison operation. What's our next move? According to his files, the pipe network and the plant are a big deal. McKay put most of his security on them. Ha, <laughs> let's fuck them up. Which one first? Up to you. Rendezvous with me at Valera Lumberyard, or Locking Mama at Cardoso Mill. They're gone. Take good care of her, mijita. Yelena, should I take out the rest of the jammers? Yes. The more you fuck with them, the faster my download speed will be. Faster download means more TV shows you can stream? No. A faster download means I can better help you with any operations where hacking is needed. Okay. And I can stream more TV shows. I knew it. I'll see what I can do about taking out the rest of the jammers. Hey, Danny. Over here. According to McKay's files, one of the old refineries has engineers working overtime on something called PG-240X. PG-240 is the poison they spray on tobacco leaves in the West to make Viviro. My guess is that PG-240X is what they dropped on us at the hotel. So we are going to fuck up McKay's operation by destroying that old refinery from the inside. I sent Lucky Mama and a small team to secure the perimeter, they are waiting for you. Once you get inside the place, talk me through what you see. We'll figure out how to get it offline. Muy bien. I'll tell the team you're on your way. Hello, my friend. How's it going? Oh, fucking stinks here. Looks like they secured the perimeter. Remember, you need to talk me through what you see in there. If I'm right, that place is important to the poison operation. Oh! Elena told us. This is the art of our Stevie and Horror. Fuck Stevie! A lot of missiles and boxes. Anything else? Yeah, they're all marked as PG 240X. Get down to the basement. The blueprints say there's a ton of electrical work down there. Reload. 
Gracias. Get out of here. Elena? What the fuck is that? Elena? I'm here, Danny. You were right. It looks like this is where Mackay's people are making the chemical weapons, the bombs. On it, Yelena. Oh, my fault. did what you had to. If it ever comes down to sacrificing one versus many... I if it makes you feel any better, 
Clara would have done the same thing. You're more alike than you think. Moving the puck on? How about the fact that we just completely destroyed Castillo's ability to make chemical weapons? This is a huge blow to the regime. So they can't make any more of the bombs they dropped on us at the hotel. All that's left is what was made before. Always another target. If you don't mind, I'm gonna just enjoy breathing for a minute. Here is your car. Good as new. Muchas gracias. When I was a girl, the air here used to smell like the ocean. But the foreign corporations came, poisoned everything. Back in 67, we kicked them out. For decades, you could breathe the air. Then Espinosa started to sell off our industries. Then Anton took over. He opened the door for that Yankee Mackay. His operation produces the poison needed to make Viviro. And the pipeline here is a vital part of that cancer treatment. Lorenzo showed me the photographs you took of their research. Disgusting. So Yelena and I came up with a plan to cripple production of Castillo's wonder drug. Think of that Yankee's main chemical plant like a heart. And all these pipes are like arteries. Cut the arteries and the heart goes into a catastrophic state. So follow the pipes, Danny. Destroy the substations, and you'll create a pressure overload at the plant. That's when Yelena will access their computers, and we'll be able to kill McKay's poison operation for good. This is a big mission, and you're not alone. You and Clara, go back to the hole you came from. Danny, find the control panels. You can overload the poison silos from there. Or I could just shoot them. Being a guerrilla is about precision. Sloppy work leads to too many corpses. Okay, first up station down. You know, I used to watch El Tigre's back when he was in the field. Well, I'm glad you're watching mine. Danny, did El Tigre ever tell you about Lobo? A little. Said he was killed in combat. Why? You remind me of him. Clara is the politician. But you are a true guerrilla. Like Lobo, the lone wolf. I don't like worrying about others. It slows me down. But when the lone wolf makes the big kill, he doesn't like to share the spoils. Be careful, Danny. Why are you telling me this? Hello? Hello? <sighs> Pinga. Better watch my step.
I should have been a surgeon. I wouldn't go that far. Danny, I want to apologize for how I treated you when we first met. I was wrong about you. No need to apologize. I've just seen enough blood to last three lifetimes. And enough guerrillas who enjoyed spilling it. When you showed up, you had trouble written all over you. But El Tigre, he always knew a true guerrilla at first glance. He told me if anyone could save Yara, it was you. Just thought you should know. Libertad could use you, Lucky. Clara could learn a lot from you. Libertad, la moral, just a club, Danny. I fight for Yara, no one else. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? Because you remind me of Lobo. You might be a hero now. You might think you would never betray Yara. But once you're on the throne, it will change you. I have no desire to rule Yara, Lucky. Just know that if I must, I'd hesitate to the trigger. Just like El Tigre, he was the real legend of 67. And he never forgave himself for it. Yara's had a conga line of white skinned devils come here and. Oh, no! You! Get me out of here! Le doy gracia. What the hell was that? My first project is taking LMJ and making it. Danny, so great job taking out those substations. I've accessed their system, and thanks to you overloading the base and pressure at the plant, I can now do this. Do what, Yelena? Holy shit! Loki, did you hear that? All of Yara heard that. Time for phase two. Get to the plant. Just follow the smoke. having a ride. You going for this? Nice choice. Gracias. Everyone's shitting themselves. Thanks to you. Engineers are trying to repair the chemical basins. Find the control room, Danny. Yelena's waiting to be patched into the computers. Once we have access. Heart attack. Got it.
Elena, it's Danny. I plugged you in. Time to do your thing. Muy bien. Let's melt this fucker. Yelena, any chance you can hurry things up? Hacking the nurse, Danny. Don't rush me. Eso. It's in the warehouse. 
I unlocked it from Lucky. She should be there already. Hit it there now. up the poison. No more wonder drug. Bunny, you're not going to believe it, but before we hit McKay at the port, I got a special request from Clara, and she's got a point. Didn't see that coming. We have an opportunity to do something bigger. If we destroy Castillo's oil reserves in El Este right now, it will choke his army of fuel across the island. I like the sound of that. Go hit the big red tanks all over La Jolla. Our guerrillas will help you. I sent them pics of what to target. Gracias, comadre.
Puta's mine. McKay wasn't there. The office was a fucking trap. Cuño, that intel came from a fucking traitor. If I know anything about foreign invaders, they have one idea in their head if they're losing. McKay has to be on one of those ships. You called it, Lucky. Okay. Yelena, if the Yankee was on that ship, he's a dead man. Sure this time? This intel comes from one of Gilberto's people. She's on that ship and has a visual on him. On my way. Gilberto will get on the line. Fucking amazing. I know, but don't tell them that. Or else I may have to pay them more. Well, I'll keep an eye out and shoot my way in. Good luck on me. Oh, 
Right, Juan? Backpack's here. Danny, the situation has changed. Don't want to hear it right now, Juan. See, si, see, si, he's a skin tag on a weasel's asshole. Well. But we just made a deal. McKay is offering us a fuck ton of cash if we let him go. We're talking real dinero, Danny. No way Clara's good with this. I'll deal with Clara. You and I both know the real war starts the first minute Castillo dies. And you can't win that fight without cash, trust me. We've been doing pretty good with bullets. Leave him alone and head back to the port. I'm on my way there now. It's time to celebrate. We won! <laughs> go on, backpack. Go, go. Join the fiesta back in the mainland. I'm sure they're gonna have a piñata set up and everything for you. I'm thinking. Celeste para siempre, Dani. Y Elena. You want me to believe McKay just floated away? Libertad deserves you. Let's hear it for Dani. You should say something. I've given enough speeches. Then I think it's only appropriate You've that had I your say time, that. Lorenzo. Hmm? Lucky. Today, for the first time in my life, I actually feel lucky. When I look into the eyes of your generation, I see the same fire, the same passion, the same hope I used to see in mine. Together, we have the chance to create something new. It's your turn. Let's make this Yara's last war. La Moral, Legends of 67. Bienvenidos al este, Clara. Welcome to Libertad. Gracias, but no. La Moral's good on its own. Is that right? We'll help you kill Castillo, but we'll also keep an eye on Libertad. You want me to trust this wrinkled up abuelo to fix Ariara? No. We fight. We don't follow. I like this one. That's two of us. See you in Esperanza. <laughs> I know there are many who speak of the old revolution of 67 like a dream. That these murderers were heroes. They will destroy your future just as they did my father's. When I look into your eyes, I see lions. Libertad. La moral. Murderers of 67. These are lies. The truth, they are all known by the same name. Terrorista. I have a vision. To rebuild paradise. But these terroristas have made sure the cost of paradise will be blood. Let this be Yara's last revolution. Let us claim victory to the lions. Coño, wish you two were here. this party at? Better off. Danny, head for Valle de Oro to help Massimas Matanzas. Now that McKay is out of the picture, we have Anton where we want him. You sound confident. We have to win. Second place is a bullet. We're going to win. Viva Libertad, Clara. Viva Libertad, Danny. 
Lara, I'm on my way to Valle de Oro. Good. I hope you find Maximus Matanzas. How do you know them anyway? Talia and I led the first protests against Castillo, while Paolo mobilized the dissidents. We lost contact after the Esperanza riots. I saw those riots. A lot of people got hurt. This is the fort. Looks like no one's been here for a hundred years. Hey! Uh, Maximus Matanzas? Talia? Maybe they left a note. They wanted others to follow. Clara, Maximas Matanzas was definitely at the fort. There's signs of a gunfight and shit thrown everywhere. That sounds like them. Can you pick up their trail? See, si. they won't be hard to track. That's what I'm worried about. Rapido, Danny. That music must be Maximas Matanzas. Cojone, I'm not the first to find them. Okay, watch yourself, Danny. Clara, I think I found Maximas Matanzas' hiding spot. But Castillo's soldiers got here first. Looks like they're having some fun before they call for backup. You know what to do, Danny. Whatever it takes. They've got a medic. Shit. Muerto. They can't be far. The last of them. Italia. Move. What the fuck? Hey, uh, you think I could keep this? No, yes. Hey, man, you just saved Maximus Matanzas, the most blessed motherfucking group in Yara. Well, I would have done it myself personally, but you know, I couldn't stop trying. Get out of my way. I'm Bicho, man. I'm from Mexico. Get me the fuck out of here. I know you can hear me. If I let you out, you're gonna be half? Mi amor. <laughs> Fuck you, Talia. Oh, I thought you wanted to hide like a pussy-ass bitch. You want to die before we get to America? Oh, big man, Paolo. So a real man takes care of his chica by hiding her in a stank-ass swamp. Fucking puta. <laughs> Coño. Oh, that's just foreplay. Okay, okay. You guys ever heard of Libertad? Clara Garcia sent me. Shh. We were Libertad before Libertad. Who do you think dragged Clara to her first protest when she wanted to live in a fucking library? I don't care. Clara knows her boring ass speeches won't convince Yarns to join Libertad. She needs her voice. Don't worry, Talia's full of shit, and so are you. 
Welcome to Camp Maximus. <laughs> They're animals. Everybody! So those are gone! Come on out! Clara, good news? Max. You're still full of shit. A lot more people here than I thought. Are the musicians too? Talia collects dreamers dumb enough to pick fights with Anton's Ministry of Culture. I just make sure they aim the barrel away from the face. Thought I was the only dropout. Papa was a drill instructor. Family's fifth gen army until me. What happened? Expelled? When Papa found out I turned from his favorite daughter into a freak. His words. Shit. Just trans in the military, compai. I was lucky. Talia caught me trying to steal her gear, but instead of turning me in, she gave me a deck. Libertad can help all of you here. Libertad? When Castillo won, we left riots with Clara. And what did he get us? Clara runs off to play guerrilla, Talia gets thrown into Maria Marquesa's bullshit academy, and I have to take a big fucking debt to get her out. From who? Bembe, black market smuggler. Once he's paid off, Talia and I are off this fucking rock. Let me take some debt, Paolo. I don't do handouts. Okay. Why'd you leave the military? Punch my drill instructor in the throat. I'm not a morning person. Segunda, Bembe deals in the church. I need to help Paolo pay off a debt to some black market smuggler named Bembe. Do whatever it takes, Danny. If Paolo was able to build that camp on the run, imagine what he could do for Libertad when he decides to fight. Understood, Clara. You Bembe? I know a silly when I see one. What's wrong with Ola, asshole? Try to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I sell your organs to the Yankees. And I know if I shoot you, Paolo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda, you got me. So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. After la revolución, he put on a crisp military uniform. Thirty years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolución with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull. Buried in the same crisp uniform. Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? It goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking Bambe. Okay, Rojas. I need you to pick up my key from my business partners. Where are they? At the hotel. My associates are named Dimitri and Vasily. They're Russian and they're twins. I'll make it easy and send a picture. You're too kind. They say kindness is the lowest form of manipulation. This is a simple job, Rojas. Get me my key and Paolo will thank you. I don't want Paolo's thanks. I want Paolo's debt cleared. We all do, Rojas. 
Me most of all. Right. I'll get you this key. But then you and Paolo are square. Understand? Love you, Ross. Bye bye. You should know that there might be some soldiers at the hotel. Might be? Hey, I'm just trying to help you. You don't help people, Bembe. You use them. I'll take that as a thank you. <sighs> soldiers. Simple job, my ass. They are twins, though. Medics on duty. Give me some names, or I was right. I see a Russian. Or is it Dimitri or Vasily? You're no soldier. Are you Dimitri or Vasily? Dimitri? Who the fuck are you? Bembe sent me. Where's the key? <laughs> so that's what this is about. Bembe fucked us good. First he sends military, then he sends you. I don't work for Bembe. I'm just here for the key. My brother has the key. The soldiers drowned him like a dog, but he didn't once beg for his life. He died in that fancy pool like a man. My Vasily. Gracias. I'm sorry about your brother. I'm getting out of Yara. You should too before Bembe stabs you in the back. Idiota Kusok! I never should have come to this godforsaken country! Bembe, you fucking hijo de puta. Ah, so you got my key. See, I found it on your dead Russian friend. Now, Rojas, the key opens a safe at Via Julia Hotel. I need the black book inside. What's in that book? For you? All is freedom. Looks like the hotel, and what a surprise, the army is here. Bembe, I'm at the hotel, and so is the army, but I think you already knew that. It's the delicious little surprises that make life worth it. Save me your bullshit. Let me guess, you want me to take them out. <laughs> you see?
Bembe, it's done. I got your book. Muy bien, Rojas. I can see why Clara has so much faith in you. You are such a good little gopher. Is that what you think I am? Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything to you. Tell me where to meet you. I'm across the north bridge of the hotel. All this for a book. <laughs> Danny Rojas. Thank you for securing my new port. Thought you wanted the book from the safe. Can the man have both? Of course, Via Hudia Hotel is the real price jewel. It's the best smuggling port on the south coast. You just needed someone to clear out the competition. The Russians made good money from this place. And with this book of corrupt officials in their pay, that money will now flow to me. We are done here. But you and I still have business to do, Rojas. You've paid off some of Paolo's debt, but not all. Don't worry, I have more work for you. Time to pay off some debt. I got some customers who are dying to get out of paradise. You're going to help them do that. I've left you a truck. Use it to drive my customers to the docks, where our ship will be waiting. The docks are guarded, so you're going to work a little harder to get past them without a fight. That's where Rafael Merrero comes in. He's a forger and a very important client of mine. His papers will get you through. Do this for me, and Paolo's debt is wiped clean. Everyone wins. When the boat leaves, the boat leaves. Venga. Mira, te risco them. Bembe. Why is it everywhere you send me I find trouble? Heard it again. Speculation is a waste of time. <laughs> time is money. Take matters into your own hands, Rojas. And fast. Rafael is there somewhere. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Vamos. Oye, over here. Gracias. Did Bembe send you? Sí. You, Rafael? I got papers for you. They're in the truck nearby with Bembe's customers. You better hurry. What about you? I'm going back to my studio. I have more art to create. Bembe, I got your clients and your papers from Rafael. Okay, Ross. Now make sure my precious cargo gets to the port. 
Sí, ok. Everyone good back there? Sí, sí. Vámonos. Ya. Yeah. I'm in the truck. Boss waiting. Try not to damage the goods. Goods? I got a truck full of people here. No, Danny. That's a Papers. Wait a minute, Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think El Presidente found in Maria's new face? Okay, go through. And they better be here. Beautiful work, Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, moment, amigos. This isn't your stop. Que coño, they're not going? Business expense. What the fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. Paolo, good news. Bembe is off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Talia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Talia and I are still getting off this island. I'm at the zoo. Good. I'm up on the body door, that big spinning ride. Okay, I'll find you. repeating history. My history. Yara was built by slaves, and now so is Viviro. El Presidente is afro yaren and doesn't even realize the fucking irony. He has innocent people down there. People from our show. We did one in Esperanza. 
Thursday riot. Castillo's minister of bullshit propaganda, Maria Marquesa, blacklisted us. Locked me up in her academy and tried to fry my brain. But I was lucky. Paolo busted me out. Told me to move on, but I can't. Not with people locked up down there. In cages. Sleeping in their own shit like I was. I don't got skills to break people out. You do. Save them. I'll stay here. Be your lookout. Need to move fast or people are going to die. Better watch myself. Time to free these people. Treated worse than animals. Talia, it's not just cages. They are torturing people to death. The bodies, blood. They pump people through here. We got to stop this. Get those people out while I keep watch. The blade is not for heat or for an influence. It is not even he could die. What is killing Yara? Killing us? We tolerate those who are different from us. Ron! You are going to feed us to the dogs. Gracias, gracias. Tolerance is only an excuse for weakness. I say we bring an end to tolerance. I say we grip this blade of weakness with all hands and rip it from our body. Only then. Yara, 
Are safe. Good, but it's not enough. Yara needs to see what Castillo is doing. See why we can't sit silent. Security cameras are all over this place. Some footage could change a lot of minds. Fuck yes, Danny! Broadcasting footage! Beecho will know how to get that to as many people as we can. I'll look for the control room. Security keys. <sighs> the footage must be in here. Okay, the footage. Danny, they're sending in reinforcements. Ponyo, the download isn't finished. Finally, done. Dahlia, it's clear down here. And I got the footage. Now I see why Clara likes you. Maria's not gonna be able to cover this shit up. Don't worry, we'll give Libertad some credit. Just do your thing, Dahlia. Okay, meet me at that shitty Anton statue by the front gates. This is worth it. You'll see. Trust, Danny. Trust. Talia, where the fuck are you? Look, it's Anton's fucking zebra. That's a horse and some paint. See, but it'll make me famous. <clears throat> Take a pic. <laughs> Hurry up! Take the fucking picture! Keep it still! <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, One more time. I fucking dare you. Uh, I'm good with animals. You here Hola. to pick up Paulo's slack? Buena. We got a lot to do here. Hola. Stay strong. I got a problem, Garia. You better know. Fucking Paulo says finding a way off Yara is priority number one. <laughs> he wants to run while we got real problems. I heard our friend Matias is locked up in Marquesa's true Yaren Academy. He's a doctor, but they took his fucking license for helping us out. It's like it's a crime to help anyone who's not a true Yaren. And now they're going to fry his brain till he's dry humping Castillo. I would know. They tried that brainwashing shit on me. Paolo won't risk saving Matias until the heat dies down, but you're up for it, right? Matias is a fucking saint. Don't let Marquesa break him. Oh yeah. Dahlia, I'm at the academy. Looks like the inmates took over. Oh, fuck yes. Should make this easy. No, listen to me. The army is here. There's going to be a fight. Then get in there and get Matias out before the army storms the place. That's what guerrillas are about and shit. Madre mía. Don't test me. Matias, you don't look like a doctor. What, these scrubs don't scream physician to you? Talia sent me to break you out. Fantastic. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor. Have your kids. Get back fast. Soldados are at our door. <clears throat> Kiria, where's that kid? On my way. The trauma kit. Gracias. I need to stabilize him, Danny. You did good, um... Danny, from Libertad. You've done this before, no painkillers? Give me a hand. Only true Yarns get proper medical care. The rest get me. When I did Paolo's top surgery, there was no anesthetic. Black market hookup fell through. Even then... Paolo didn't blink. Shit. 
Welcome to Castillo's Paradise. Tell those lovebirds I'll help after I scrape up some antibiotics for a friend. You will live. Thanks to you. Dalia, I got Matias out. Gracias. When he finds out. Danny, you're one of the good ones. Plenty of good ones in Libertad, you know. I think you'd fit right in. Okay, slow down, Danny. If we break more chains, show Marquesa and Castillo that they can't keep us down, maybe I'll consider Libertad. Maybe. So you know, I'm a badass radio DJ. Okay, that's a lie. But you inspired me, Danny, with your guerrilla-ness. I dream of my sexy voice, Maximus Matanza's music, and Libertar's message all over the airwaves. I call it Radio Libertar. I... Yes! Oh, I can't wait to tell you and Paulo see this shit. Possessing us as slaves. And now that we possess our mirror, our video, they cover the new Just throwing out some trash. Nothing to see here. Only consumers. Consumers who will not only bombs away. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Bicho, I'm done. No, 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 man. You're not done. Are you ready for the next step? I'm ready. Okay, so Maria's on her way. There's a banner she's gonna unveil on live TV. And you are gonna swap it out for our banner instead. Oh, I am. <laughs> am I? It's high up, but you can get the right. And you, you think Clara's gonna like it? Yeah, go team! I'm into it. Go team. Fences. <laughs> More like the list of shit that makes you a fucking badass! Go meet me at the gas station outside town. Kurele! Sorry, I need it! My mierda! <laughs> Mira! It's starting! And now for a special announcement. Hello, my beautiful foreign friends. Any questions before we begin? Minister Marquesa, are you concerned that- How do you respond to rumors that Diego Castillo is your son? I don't. Diego Castillo is the first son of Yara and an example to all true Yarens. Now, it is my pleasure to unveil the construction of the Anton Castillo True Yaren Cultural Center. You see? This is the kind of cultural pollution we are fighting against. Ah, ah we just need to borrow your phones and your cameras. <laughs> 
Everyone in Yara saw that shit. Oh my god, Danny. We have so much to do. I'm blowing my own fucking mind. <laughs> Clara, shoot. No, not like this. Come find me at the Esperanza School for the Lost. I think you know the place. Yeah, you could say that. On my way. Danny, make sure you're alone. No Juan. This is just you and me. Danny, the dream is coming alive! Radio Libertad, baby! Que? You're on the air? No, but we are so close I can taste it! Come to my ranch! Why? Because I'm there. Isn't that reason enough? Danny, the dream is coming alive! Radio Libertad, baby! Okay? You're on the air? Esperanza School for the Lost. Full circle, eh, Clara? Ugh, more bad memories than good. Oye, Dani, Clara's upstairs. Gracias. What are you doing? It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tú sabes. I'm done, Tania. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us? We don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. You want to tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're joking, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live, and then Castillo let you walk away from a death sentence. <laughs> but the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny.
Picho, you hear? Picho? The best guerrilla in the... Welcome to Radio Libertad. Marquesa locked down the internet, so we're taking over the radio to give Libertad a voice. But Yara's old ass network is cock blocking me. It's from like, what, 1993? The red antenna tower things around here shoot out the signals, but most of them are broken or point the wrong way. I tagged all the broken shit. Fix and rotate them. Por favor? For. Did I ever tell you I love you, Danny? Okay, Bicho. What did you tag for me? Someone's out there. Nothing. Don't let them escape! Get down. Those soldados are in my way. Antenna's powered up. Talk about resolver. <laughs> okay, Picho, what did you mark? Picho, I'm at the apartments. Oh, that place is resolver to the max. They steal from the grid to live. But one of their control panels is fried. It's going off power to one of my antennas. Get on that roof and find it, por favor. Follow my blue graffiti to the control room up there. It's locked, but that never stopped you before, right? Never, Picho. Fuck ya! Yeah. Radio Libertad is gonna light up Yara with truth! <laughs> Should check the wiring up there.
There's the break. Esperanza, get ready for Radio Libertad. One more tower, and Radio Libertad is born. Gonna grab a ride. Here she is. And you can't even see the bullet holes. Gracias, gracias. Hola. Danny, you okay? You safe? Si. Sí. I'm near the tower by Cafe Taza. Por qué? You sound stressed. My buddy knows this guy who sells calling cars on the corner. And he said Marquesa cut off this other dude's balls for doing a mural without Ministry of Culture approval. Getting cold feet? I will no. Marquesa can fuck off. But if she comes to me, Danny, protect my balls, okay? Okay. It's just graffiti. Control should be at the top of the tower. That will boost the signal. No time for Radio Libertad. Danny, try to broadcast. Our guest is getting my signals. Oh, I didn't even take your head on. Fucking 2G connection. Try your jammers at Taino Peak Station. Fuck up the big dishes blocking signals. Try your amplifiers on the tower and play your searchlights on the fucker like crazy. Danny? Danny? You there? Can you... Can you... Bicho? Hello? What? Minga. Easy girl. Let's go. Pinga. Boys. Jammers have to go. of that bullshit. Gotta get up the tower. There's the tower.
Gotta flip the switch on the amplifier. What's going on? We got a show for the first time since we ran from Esperanza, and Paolo wants to kill it. Why? Marquesa will kill us. But I painted the loco everywhere. No, I painted them, and stole a fucking zebra, and killed for that local priest. No bullshit, you're doing the show. What priest? One song, then we're out. Ah, oh, mi amor, I could fuck your brains out, but we gotta get ready. Back your shit, baby! <laughs> Danny, I, I love that you're just speaking your truth like that. <laughs> what is it, Picho? We're gonna need to clear Marquesa's propaganda house of soldiers if we're gonna set up our gear. And by we, I mean you. Or you with a little bit of me. Both of us. I get it. Let's go speak some truth. Clara better appreciate this. Picho, I'm at Maria's villa. You here? Yeah, yeah, soon way. But, uh, are there soldados? Of course. It's Marquesa's fucking house. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I'm gonna be a little late. Relájate. There won't be a single soldier when you get here.
Nicho, it's safe to come out now. Orale, Danny. Meet me off front of my truck. And, uh... <clears throat> you need help? Uh, see, si, with gear. That shit's heavy. <laughs> Danny, let's set this shit up. This is it. Make or break. Okay, Maria's got the best gear set up here already. We just need to turn that shit on. We? Oui. You think Talia will turn on the antenna, lights, speakers? No way, man. Okay, okay. I'll help. Shit, yeah! I got a roadie! And Radio Libertas happening. I'll be here, monitoring your progress. Motherfucker. Okay, Antenna is live. I'm a guerrilla roadie now. Damn, Marquesa's has got a serious light board. Bicho! Here's good to go! Cojone, so lifelike. Where the hell are Paolo and Talia? You look like shit. <laughs> this always happens. This always happens before a show. Hey. Finally. Verdad sobre todo. 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 Fuck Castillo. Fuck Marquesa. Fuck Paraíso. Rejo de la muerte. We don't stop. You hear me? Danny, to 
Los come mierdas got a tank. Ah, oh, shit. Mierda, tank. They're gone. Fuck yeah. Show's over. What are you talking about, Paolo? You made your point to Marquesa. No tenemos miedo, miente no falla. So you got her thinking she's hard like Libertad now. Should I run to America like a pussy instead? Fuck, Talia, we can have a life there. Oh, yeah. Smile at the Yankees while we clean their toilets. Smile while they tell us to go back to where we came from. They don't want us, Paolo. My life is here, fighting with Libertad. Libertad? <laughs> Libertad just wants our fans. You think Clara Garcia gives a shit about you? Me, Danny? Take it easy. Also, now you're against Libertad. 
After all the shit we've been through, the surgeries, your family? My surgeries! My family! Not yours! This isn't my war! When this is over, I'm still gonna have to fight to live here. It's like you forget that I'm trans in fucking Yara! So don't talk as if you know what it's like for me. A real man? Doesn't run! Suerte. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I don't think so, mi amigo. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Mm. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. And your mother? ¿Qué clase de tontería es esta, María? Es el estilo americano. Let's talk Viviro, a cancer treatment that extends the lives of millions around the world, except in the United States. My own father is stage four. Why do you make Americans wait? It's very American to expect what does not belong to you. You refuse diplomatic overtures, even promises to lift the blockade. I am sorry about your father, but Americans will wait, just like everyone else. Yesterday, your network, Yarovision, was hijacked by rebels. They called for the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? Truth or lies? The truth, of course. Yara did not write the playbook. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who looked like me. What is that called? A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion dollar prison industry that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. Children so are close. Sweatshops build our phones and Bibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? Santos Espinoza executed your father in the 1967 communist revolution. You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You were self-educated? My mother was a wonderful teacher. I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor, pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, when I give my vibiro to America, my methods, your questions. No one will care. We're done here? For their father. We need all hands on deck. Ah, <laughs> uh, Palo's gone, but I still gotta scream. You and I, we're gonna take the war straight to Maria Marquesa. I've been waiting to do this a long time. First, her Ministry of Culture blacklisted us. Then they kidnapped me, tried to brainwash me, silenced me. Well, we're going to censor la fucking censura, Danny. Her propaganda, billboards, advertising, her whole rum factory. We're going to fuck it up. Lara, make that bitch I saw pay. The it went dark. What happened? Are you okay? We're alive. Bien. Everyone's talking about Maximus Pantanzas, which means they're talking about Libertad. No one can ignore you now, even if they wanted to. I just want Yara to hear the truth. So what's your next move? Talk to Talia. See if I can smooth out some... Creative differences. Wish me luck. Maria's rum factory. Time to make some noise. Got 
Do be careful here. Adios to shitty rum. This feels good, like therapy. was for you, Talia. Maria's rum factory is gone, and so is the money she stole from it. <laughs> Eso! Now keep hitting her face! Billboards and shit, use fire, bullets, piss, puke, blood! Look, I don't care! Whatever you got! I'll stick to weapons. I want Maria to see herself burn. Remind Leatherface of her mortality, you know? Maria's going to get the message now. Hola, took care of the propaganda. Fuck yeah, you did. Let's go a little bigger, see? The Joseph's coming mierdas are putting up another fucking Anton statue at El Presidente Square. I swear, it's the only way that guy can get hurt. <laughs> it's as good as gone, Talia. Silvio, motherfucker. the statue. Bullets aren't going to cut it. I'm gonna need to blow it up somehow. Guess you gotta get creative, Kiria. See. Si. I thought you'd be more happy. Look, millions can't bring back what I lost. But that's okay, because we're just getting fucking started. What? Maximus Matanzas is fucking dead. <laughs> fucking get your liver ready. We're gonna put that little guy through the ring.
Are you sad? I'm sad. Nice. What'd you get? Never mind. I don't care. Bicho, our future is now. You are a genius. Let's do this. Priorities way. <laughs> Coño, I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling it. Danny, you hear that? Music! Come, Danny! Oh yeah, party time. <laughs> Come on you little fucker. Let's dance. Hey. Beach of dog dance. The fuck? Fuck you, everybody dances. If Bicho is gonna dance, he's gonna dance to his own fucking music. <laughs> Hey, got the request? Say, can you play this? It will really cheer up my friend. Dale! <laughs> yes! This is my shit! <laughs> Dancing! <laughs> Danny! Come drink with me! <coughs> oh, that's better, Bicho. Where are you, you little pineapple hair fuck? Don't leave me alone out here! Oh, shit. Phone. Danny? Hey, where are you, man? Uh, Danny! Bicho, you coming, mierda? Where'd you go? Danny? There's a really big dog here. <laughs> is, is that a cow? Where, where'd you find a cow? He's really nice. He gives lots of kisses. Stay where you are. I'll come find you. <laughs> stop, stop it. Bad dog. <laughs> ¿Qué coño es eso? Oh shit. Shit. Hey, how do you become a guerrilla? Huh? Que? Like, uh, for Libertad. Does Clara give you a test? Yeah, bicho. She makes you get up at like four in the morning, 
and do push-ups. What? Yeah, a, a thousand. If you stop, her buddy Juan shaves your ass and spanks you. <laughs> and if you puke, they make you do math. <laughs> Me lleva la chingada. Fuck your math? No way. No way, way. You're full of shit. You're lying. <laughs> Since when did you want to be a guerrilla? Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> You're right. It isn't. <coughs> what isn't? You. I mean you. Look at you. Look at you. You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me, they think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. <laughs> That's not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this. That's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Libertad, I had two best friends, just like you. Lita used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza's school for the lost. After that, I was cadet 2683. Then, drafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. A nobody. But I wasn't listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. I am not a number. I am not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla. Just like you. I use this. And you? Use that, huh? But I could be a cool fucking gun too. Danny, how are you holding up? Let's see. Paolo's gone, Pichos a crying mess, and Talia's just fucking chaos. I think it's time to face reality, Danny. Maximus Matanzas is too far gone. I'm going to head back to camp. Talk to Talia. Don't give up on them yet, Clara. You're called, Danny. You here to pick up Paolo's slack? We got a lot to do here. I'm a grenade ready to. <laughs> We hit Maria's rum factory, we fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit. Maria's Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. Do this shit.
Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you... Silvia Balboa, Garden City. Urban Garden. Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friends. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro. The Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. Today, I am honored and excited I to share with you the, the miracle the of Viviro. A revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist Dr. Edgar Reyes discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Spasibo for the inside tour. You really make the reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> It all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, a volunteer. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer fighting tobacco compound called Yarantine. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantine is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right.
And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren Rom. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say it, sneak peek. <laughs> so peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. Neither do we, let's get in there. I told Bijou to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So, what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. We have a process to define the countries from the and we intend to stick to the rules. It is estimated there are 80 million new cases oh, worldwide. We should run! Talia! Okay, okay! Who's shooting out there? Someone go deal with the terrorists! Special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. Where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? <laughs> Fuck. Come on, let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Hello? Every day, Danny. Danny! Talia ran off, and I don't know what she's going to do, and I think I'm having a heart attack! Bicho, you're not having a heart attack. Uh, well, how, how do you know? We need Paolo! Paolo knows how to fix this! 
Paolo's in Miami by now. No, 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 he's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay, just take a breath. I'm on my way. Time to be strong. I thought Radio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I, nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport and he was with that fucker, Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that can put Talia back from the cliff, Carnala. I even tried to get Paolo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom, soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Hmm. You might want to do this on the download, Danny. There's a lot of soldiers down there. <coughs> Paolo, what did you get yourself into? Better watch myself here. I will not rest. My soldiers will not rest. All of Yara! is crawling with soldados. They must have been waiting for Paolo. Where are you, Paolo? There is no door in here. Locked up tight. Hola, Rojas. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Ross. Why would they take Paolo to a place like this? Paolo's not here. Fuck. Paolo better be here, or Bembe's a dead man.
these new phones. They're so thin. Ah, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Motherfuckers. Oh, Come on, Karim, you're safe. You're with me now. They put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Mr. <laughs> Matias, fucking go. Oh, okay, okay. We meet there. <laughs> Matias, need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. It was El fucking Doctor. <laughs> he poisoned me. Need to get it out. Okay, you need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. <clears throat> Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Take a moment and for science. Tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up! You're... Neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave. <sighs> fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita! No! This isn't real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone! No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. How was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? says to me, he screams, pity, fuck you. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Dan? You let my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us too. After the bullet went into my brain, I could still see just long enough to watch you and Lita leave me behind. Alejo, please, stop.
shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. I'm not like this. Not like this. We're supposed to be together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. I can feel Danny. Welcome back, idiot. How's Talia? You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Danny, bitch has gone crazy, screaming about Bembe, blaming him for what happened to you, me, and Talia. Last night, he took off while we were sleeping. I think the idiot's gone after Bembe. Don't know how Bicho thinks he's going to track him down. Bicho always had her back, and we never... Just find the little shit, okay? Good luck. At this stage, every guerrilla counts. Bicho? Bicho? You crazy come mierda. Where are you? He's not here. Maybe he left something lying around. Hmm. So Bembe is buying weapons from the military. Looks like the handoff was at the rodeo. Who lives like this? Skimming some Viviro off the top, eh, Bambe? I should check that warehouse. If I find Bambe, I find Bicho. Be alive, mi socio. Oye, Paolo. I think Bicho's done something stupid. What's he done this time? He's really going after Bembe. Stupid come mierda. Don't worry. I'll find him before he digs himself too deep. Hurry, Danny. Bicho set the balls loose on everyone. <laughs> what a way to go. Bembe got spooked and killed his buyer. Bicho must have followed him out. Paolo! Little maniac sabotaged one of Bembe's black market deals. He let the bulls loose at some kind of rodeo. Pinga. He's going to get himself killed. I won't let anything happen to him. Hey, wow. 
Watch your tongue. situation. Shit. Dead! Oh God, don't kill me! Easy, just tell me. A crazy kid come through here? Talks a lot. Hair kind of like a pineapple. Yeah. Came in here whiffing a gun around. Told me I had to tell him where my buyer lives. Guy called Bembe. Did you tell him? See? And then the kid ran off. Can you tell me where Bembe lives? <sighs> Nobody knows exactly where his place is. But it's in Cruz del Salvador, near the border. That's all I know. I swear. Please, just let me go. Paolo, I know where to find Bembe. Exactly. Sit back, Paolo. about this. Looks like Bembe hides out in an old slave shack on the plantation. That's Bicho's truck. Bicho? Oh, Bicho! Bicho, what the fuck? Get out of here, Danny! I'm gonna blow this cabron's head off! No, you're not. Oh, I'm not? You don't think I will? Eh? Bicho, listen to me. You thought coming here was going to fix it all. But it's not going according to plan, is it? What the fuck do you know, eh? I know you're no killer. Look at you shaking. You're a frightened little rat. A pest. A parasite. Yes. You take and give nothing back. Bicho, don't listen to him. That's right. Bicho, just a blood-sucking bug. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Hang on! You are not Bicho. You're not a bug. What's your real fucking name? You wanna fix something? Pull that trigger. You need to shut the fuck up right now. My name is Paz. Yeah. Okay. Your name is Paz. You're Paz. You're not Bicho. You're not a bug. You're Paz. And I need you here with us, man. Hmm? You're a piece of shit. At least I don't lie to my friends. Not that it matters. But I tried to get Palo up. I really did. Paolo. Danny, tell me Bicho's okay. See, si. talked him out of doing something really stupid. He's a bit shook, but he's okay. Oh, fuck. Thank God. And Bembe? Still alive, still a snake. Shit. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. There's always going to be a Bembe, Paolo. But there aren't many Bichos out there. When Bicho gets back, maybe tell him how you feel, yeah? He could use it right now. I will. I promise. Thank you, Danny. Nanny, how is my patient? Alive, gracias. And I have another cool scar to show my friends. You joke, Danny. But it's the scars in your head that worry me most. Look, it's not a good situation here. Talia has an infection and we're low on medication. I'm sure Castillo has some to spare. You and I think alike. Hit the three checkpoints along the road west of my clinic. Hurry, Danny. 
Talia's life depends on it. Matias, I got the meds. Muy bien, Danny. Bring them to me in Barreal. Hurry, for Dahlia's sake. See you soon. Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. See, sí, big reunion. We need to hit El Doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. Maria's dead. Viviro is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine, and he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias Asinta. Sergio Esteves, El Doctor's right-hand man, murdered hundreds with his medical trials. That's how we get El Doctor. <laughs> Weren't you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. I knew you were military. Paolo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions. Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now the mama and papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. Nice house. Being a true pays off. Should check inside. Hey, it's Paolo. Just thought you should know what kind of monster Sergio is. Como mierdas carried out thousands of fucked up experiments on outcasts. Even kids, Danny. It's fucking sick. And the only just make Ryan be the rich. Oh no. I have to get this piece of shit. You will. Suerte. Paolo, did you send backup? Si. Let them take care of the soldados. Just focus on finding Sergio. Gracias. Sergio, it's El Guerreras. The guerrillas are on to you. Come to me and we will provide the protection you need. 
Castillo can't afford to lose you, and neither can I. We have so many more trials to complete. Matias, someone warned El Doctor that we were coming. Sergio's on the run. Pablo and I are on our way. Don't let that piece of shit escape. He's a fucking murderer. Yarn piece of shit. Shit, fuck it is fast. Gushing, grade two or higher, laceration, dislocated shoulder. Matias. Let me guess. You're going to treat me to prove you're the better doctor. Where the fuck is El Doctor? The Viviero Processing Center, Building 13. What the fuck, Paolo? You think El Doctor could run the outcast camps without people like this piece of shit? None of this. None of this whole fucking mess would be happening without doctors like him. Fuck him. I'm all out of mercy. And significant trauma to the skull. Shit. at the lookout near the BioVida lab. We're going to hit a doctor where he lives. About fucking time. You and I are going to kill him, Danny. And we'll also hit Castillo where it hurts most. His fucking wallet. Look at that, Paolo. You made me smile. <laughs> See you soon. The guard. Building 13. This is it. We're going to put that sick motherfucker in the ground. Huh. Should kill the alarm. What? The fuck was that? I Lock down tight, lock down tight. What's happening, Danny? Fastest way in is with a gun. This place is built like a bunker. You'll need to find a clever way to get in those buildings. Got it.
think I lost it. What is this place? Heavy aside in the bomber. They have come to destroy everything we have built. Kill them all. Paolo, if you could see this. What is it, Danny? What did you find? El Doctor's land. All his experiments. Defend the video. Defend the path to paradise. He's going to fucking die today. Oh shit. No disparis! El Doctor is a monster. Give them hell, Paolo. They have come to destroy everything we have built. them all. You okay? Can you walk? Not possible. is dead. Yes, Danny! You fucking did it! What are we going to do about those people? You just did the best thing you can do for them. Now, we have to get out. Relájense, mi gente. Juan is already on his way with a helicopter. Juan? How the fuck? You think I wouldn't find out what you kids were up to? Wipe that stupid look of your face and clear me a landing zone. Paolo, meet me at the helipad. And Juan. Thanks. Cojones. Paolo's not fucking around.
fucking cavalry. The goddess of victory picked us today. Enjoy it, guerrillas. Because tomorrow you'll be fucking somewhere else. You never listen to Pedro Torrero? This generation is lost. Does he ever stop talking? No. Talia! Mio! I thought I lost you. No, fuck no. El Doctor! Dead. And Castillo is next. You sound... different. First time you're hearing my voice, mija. That mean you'll march with me to Esperanza? I'll fight for you. I'll put a fucking bullet through Castillo's skull for you. But don't think I'm going to let you off the hook. It's easy to talk of family, equality, when you're not running a country. Mm -hmm. but when your revolution is over, mine won't have even started yet. So let's put it on the record. Bicho! Si, sí, Capitan! We Clara, I mean Heffa. Call me Paz. Paz. I think Radio Libertad would like to hear from our newest commandante. <laughs> you gonna tell the people Libertad was my idea? Shit, never gonna let that go. I hate this fucking music. It's not Pedro Torero. Exactly, Dan. True, Yaras. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego! See, si, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. He opened it? Si, sí, señor presidente. Hmm. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm, did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered allowed us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Miss Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Binga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I'm ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, just up. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. What is going on, Juan? It's Clara. Can't you just get there? This is D-Day, Danny. Fucking D-Day. Fuck.
Hell of a view. Too bad the Capitolio building ruins Esperanza. What the hell are we doing here? It's best to hide in plain sight. What? I told her not to go. I fucking told her. You told who? Clara? Juan, what is happening? He took her, Danny! He fucking took her! Clara. Castillo won in parlay. Just the two of them. Said the war was over. Libertad had won. He just wanted an elegant exit. Played right into her fucking head. Castillo's dog smashed our convoy the moment we hit the coast. Fuck. So what next? You and me are going to invade El Presidente's private island. Por favor. No me Who's this? Chesnians call it the elephant. You cut off the breathing tube, they rat out their own mother. Then they tell you some other fucked up shit. Hey, what's your size? Supremo on or off? We're going quiet. Every single soldier on that island was hand-picked by Castillo, so keep your distance. These are elite killers. You understand? I'm ready. I'll find sniper cover. You hit the house. I had my guess. It's family dinner. Just leave me at a giant cliff. No problem. She'll be fine. She's going to be fine. One. Got eyes on Anton's home. Okay. I'm in position. You need to get past the wall and do it without getting caught. You are a panther, Danny. No one can touch you. Any actual advice? The gates through the wall will be locked. Find the key, Danny. Like some kind of key-finding panther. Suerte. You're not allowed here. Can't have a private villa without a massive security wall to get through. You don't belong here. Just the key I was looking for. Here we go. Juan, I mean... Copy, Danny. Let's move. Who the fuck knows what Castillo's doing to Clara? Easy. You need to remember that these grounds are patrolled by Anton's elite killers. Your uniform is useless now. And if you get discovered, Clara dies. Shit. Right. Breathe, Danny. I got your back. Where are you, Clara? <coughs> okay, Clara. Where the fuck are you? Danny, try the second floor. I'm picking up movement there. Okay, gracias.
Stop staring. Sit. Danny, sit down. My mother had a rule. No lies at my table. And so, no lies for you. I have acute leukemia. I was diagnosed 13 years ago, but there was a doctor. He promised what we are all so desperate for. Time. But it wasn't enough. Was it Diego? Papa, I don't want to hear this story. I needed insurance. But the irony was, I hated kids. But Maria, Maria, she had a way with words. And here you are, <laughs> Mio. 13 years strong. And what happened next, Diego? Hmm? The Viviro stopped working. When? Six months ago. Me más sentida condolencias. No lies at my table! I will be gone. But he... He will see the vision through. Won't you? Truth or lies? Always truth. You're a fucking monster. Ah, I think that was truth. Danny, watch my little firefly dance. You know when I captured Clara? I thought I had one. But it took my son to show me what was right before my eyes. You. You are Libertad. I'm just a guerrilla. No lies at my table. You are a legend. They tell stories about you. Come on. <laughs> you are their hope. And now you will become my hope. You're kidding, right? You still don't get it. I told you to leave. This is your fault. You want her to leave. You will accept the rank of general of my army. You will be my hope, my legend, my Danny Rojas! <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with dividing us? True Yarans, fake Yarans! It's one fucking Yara! Let us pick our own future! You're just some sick, dying old man. And you poor kid. Your brain must be so fucked up with his poison. No eyes on Anton. I'm taking out the kid. Juan. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm taking the shot. One no! Diego! Come, Diego! Now! Stay low! Stay low! Ah, stay low! Did I get him, Danny? No, 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 no! Talk to me, Danny. She's dead! Juan! Juan! Danny? Come mierdas!
ser de Spawn, Juan. ¡Hijo de puta! What happened, Danny? We never talked about killing the kid. What do you care about some fucking rich mocoso in a castle? You think I'm a fucking idiot? You don't care about the goddamn kid. You just don't want La Revolución to end. We had her, Danny. He wasn't part of the plan. You are exactly what I said you would be, a junkie. You can't quit, just like me. I am nothing like you. Not yet. Clara is dead. But we have the eagle's nest. This is where we'll launch our attack on the capital. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Like it or not, you are Libertad Jefa. So either walk away right now, or lead us to fucking victory. We never talked about killing the kid. Where are you going? To finish what she started! Clara dreamed of this moment. When I met her, I wanted to get the fuck out of Yara. But she told me what... what we're fighting for. She explained it really well. And fighting with you ha has been... great. Just great. <laughs> I got your back, you got mine, you know? Even if you're old or if you're young, th that's okay too. I, I like... 
All of you. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is we're going to win. I promise. <laughs> Shit, you're really bad at this. Yeah. Wow. Danny, Clara was a great leader, but there's a reason we joined Libertad. We're with you, Jefa. Now, let's take our country back. Dani, viva libertad. Viva libertad. Love you, Dani. We got you, hero. You look like a bag of shit. Like looking in a mirror, no? Get some rest, compai. Be the legend tomorrow. Senor Presidente, we must consider your safety. Libertad is surrounding the capital. We need a clear view of the sunrise from here. Si, sí, Senor Presidente. I want your arms to catch the horizon at every intersection. I have several boats prepared. If we leave now, we can have you and Diego. This is the wrong design. I said Pereira, not Van Allen. <laughs> Do not pollute Esperanza with my father's obsession with our deco. Your eye is impeccable, Senor Presidente. Please, you must listen. At least the boy must be- Enough! <coughs> can you see it? Why can you see it? Let's take a look at the plaza again. Something modernist, like Genere. Here we go, Danny. Keep it up, Danny. How about you make me one of those Supremos? I can do that. I'll call it La Espada. That's fucking original. It'll be small, but angry. And it'll spray knives and smell like a horse. Does anyone like you? <sighs> you want to know why I followed Clara? She had a vision. It's because she's nothing like me. There are too many Juans in this world. Too many Antons, and maybe too many Danis. There will never be enough Claras. Danny, you ready to break a country? On a boat ride like this, Lara told me I should go work in a Yankee supermarket. She was fucking with you, Danny. She knew exactly who you are. She also told me that she would never live to see her vision of Yara. Clara did everything with eyes wide open. She knew what she was signing up for. She should be here instead of me, Juan. You're allowed to miss her, Danny. Just don't get lost in the clouds. We take Esperanza for Clara. Viva Libertad! Viva fucking Libertad! Check out the fireworks! <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it?
We've outstayed our welcome. Hey, that's my fucking life. Anton's tower. The 
Dore de fucking Leon. Time to slay the lion. It's quiet. The smart soldados knew to run. It's just the fanatics and the true believers now. Careful, Danny. He's going to be protected by his best. Doesn't matter. Anton is packed into a corner. It is time for all anything. true Man. It's okay. It's over. See, see. And now it's graduation. See you at the top, Guerrilla. Castillo. You have killed thousands, set my city on fire, destroyed the dream of paradise. All that stands between you and the throne is me and my son. I'm no dictator. Lies. You are not Clara. Yara is burning, and you don't put out fires with free elections. He's about the same age I was. When Nigarias murdered my father. I never thought that you would have to face what they put me through. I am sorry, Diego. You are my lion. Everything that I did, I did to make you stronger. You are not going to kill him. He's gonna die anyway. Last lesson, Mio. There is one thing in life that will always be true. Do you know what that is? Death. See? You will protect him from your friends, from the monsters. He'll be safe, I promise. Lies. Diego! No! Everything's gonna be alright. Don't move, Tabaco. It's... it's okay, Danny. Don't talk. You smell that? That's the stink of fucking victory! Juan, he shot Diego in the fucking chest! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Forget the kid, Danny! Fuck you, he's bleeding out! 
know. Is he hitting the heart, Danny? Is he breathing? Lucky, I, I don't know. There's too much blood. Don't move, Danny. We're coming up. Come on, Diego. Stay with me, Jamaco. It, it's okay. It's, it's okay, Danny. You were the lucky one. No, no. Move, Danny! Lucky, what's happening? I don't want to be the one to say this, but what do we do now? Yara needs a leader until we can hold elections. There's only one person I trust in this room. You better not say yourself. Yara is yours, Danny. Lo siento. No, it's not. I'm not a politician. Clara was. Maybe you are. The only reason we are standing here is because we didn't wait for one person to solve all our problems. When tyranny is law, revolution is order. Where are you going? Yara is yours. Don't fuck it up. To fallen heroes. To her Yara. You know, Danny, there's never gonna be an election. There's plenty of Castillo's friends out there who want to make sure of that. You wanna go hunting? It's like I'm looking in a fucking mirror. Once a guerrilla. Always a guerrilla. Tell you the story of the time Santos smuggled me into Uganda so I could steal him a goddamn Sebra? Yes. Angry motherfuckers. But that didn't stop me, Danny. Just gives me confidence. Libertad thanks you for your support. And I come bearing good news. Our Ribeiro supply has tripled. Ah, uh, you know, he's so sad about that Castillo kid. I mean, what his papa did. Wow, that is crazy. No, uh, a tragedy. <laughs> well, you know, some people are just sick in the mind, hermano. They're out of control. Same time next week. <laughs> oh, you can bet your life on it. Yeah. 